place and there's just nothing that can you know nothing that can compete with that you have to experience playing against the senior when you're a freshman because otherwise you can come in and you don't want to shell shock you know sophomore or junior player you want them to kind of have that out of their system and it's a great great experience for these kids because oftentimes they're going against competition where they're not just going to get rolled over they can actually play with them and then all of a sudden you start to build confidence in the player and it just you know develops for the next four years for some of these guys so the sailors are going against the air academy cadets sailors are coming in with a seven and one record air academy sitting at two and five we've seen these guys before we beat them last month nine to two you called the game what do the sailors have to do to not let this be a trap it's the same thing that they did going down there it was at home and ice arena you know this is a team that they've got a couple players that can score they've got a couple guys that can kind of go on the counter attack but steamboat just up and down their lineup has a lot more skill uh, and so i think that they can get three four lines rolling today and they just need to keep playing steamboat hockey i know it's somewhat cliche but if they just get it in deep and the grinders grind and the scores score i think we'll come out on top it's steamboat sailors ice hockey action tonight at the Howlson ice arena head on down wear red bring your radio with because you can listen to this game here terrestrially at ktyv sports on fm at 98.9 or you can listen and watch it online at steamboatradio.com it's steamboat sailors ice hockey action and the steamboat sailors taking on the air academy cadets tonight at allison ice arena we're going to head into the pregame show we've got some sailor spotlights on the way and then vlad chase will have the starting lineup and the call of tonight's game sailors hockey on ktyv sports on fm at 98.9 and on the World Wide web at steamboatradio.com Steamboat 8 is your go-to place for everything you need for your home. Bridget here from Steamboat 8, and we aren't just paid to power tools. Ace has a great pet section to keep your furry friend happy and healthy. A fun toy section stuck. Can you hear me?
two cameras. What's the other camera? Just the pouches. Hey, Bladen. Blot, can you hear me? Strategy to save for college, please come in to discuss your options. For a free college cost analysis, call Chris Puckett at 879-1851 or stop by his office at 941 Lincoln Avenue. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Member SIPC. Hello? It's time. Hello? A sailor's spotlight. A chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. I'm Luke Borgerding and I'm a senior at Hello? high school. I'm number seven and I play defense. And Hello, can you hear me? Team, I've been playing I sure hockey can. Since, How are you? I don't know, very young age. I also like to view other sports at the high school, especially watching the other kids play and compete. I sure and can. I would like How to go you? to college either in Colorado or California, but I'm not sure. I might take a year off first and then go into college, but definitely plan on going to college at some point. Uh, I might play club hockey at college, but that would probably be just about it because it's way too hard. <laughs> In 10 years, <clears throat> uh, I see myself hopefully starting a family, settling down and enjoying a life of relaxing. And outside of school, I also am involved in hot tub cleaning. So I uh, drive around and Which clean hot tubs with my buddy Matt. <laughs> uh, my favorite subject in school is probably math, just because Lot and Chase, it seems like I did hear you, Monica. Favorite Lot movie, Chase here um, from the Howie Dome. We are just about movie, set for the so opening face-off. Really Your one. Steamboat Sailors just got set to take on. Lot and Chase, I will say that. Lot and Chase here from the Howie Dome. Game tomorrow against Liberty on the opening face Please do have Mr. Andy Milski in the press box here with me today. Oh, thank you, Lot. I must say that we've got another game tomorrow against Liberty. Thank you. Please do have Mr. Andrew Bilski those, out, those out in Radio Land can't today. hear you, but... Okay, so you're barely moving the needle. <laughs> Your hat is... How does that sound, Monica? Thank you. Those out, those out in Radio Land can't hear you, but it is, trust me, spectacular. <laughs> <laughs> How does that sound, Monica? Uh, you're, you're barely moving the needle, if you can hear me.
Check, check, check. Hello, hello, hello. We are here from the Howie Dome, uh, and we're just about set, and this should be a great matchup between check, check, Steve check. Sailors hello, hello, hello. We and are Air Academy Cadets, joined Dome. by Andrew Bilski uh, here today. Just about set. Andrew, how's your day and going? This should be a great like matchup you how, your how about now? Sailors oh, yeah, and Air Academy yeah, yeah. Cadets, joined <laughs> how's by your game? How's your day going? Today? Oh, it's going Andrew, good. Nice how's your day snowy. going? Real, like how, how about real now? snowy. Oh yeah, you're gone. Trying to figure yeah. out how to get. <laughs> how, how's your fresh pack? Okay, up, that's pretty up, loud. You need to bring it down a little bit uh, on you, Vlad. Real High school game on real this snowy. Here, internet. Trying to figure out how to get. But I am failing. Fresh pack. Up, up to date stats on this. Uh, how are we sounding now, Monica? Let us know via text if you'd be so kind. I'm pretty sure I turned it down a little bit and see if that might not work. And uh, text me how Monica or how, are we sorry, how Andrew now, sounds Monica? as well. That would be spectacular, just like my hat. Your hat is very spectacular. I'm pretty <laughs> sure I said that already. <laughs> okay, I keep moving the wrong mic. Um, you need to turn it down some, Vlad, in on yours. Um, Bilski sounds fine right now. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Check, 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 check. Check, 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 check. Hello, Vlad in here. Uh, we're just about set for the opening face-off at the Howie Dome. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Check, 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 check. Check, 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 check. Hello, Vlad in here. Okay, Mr. Check. That's good. Face-off at the Howie Dome. <laughs> No one told me about any checks. I'm check. Oh, you're the check. All right, that's good. I'm going to make the board hot unless you need something else. Uh, I'll, I'll take no a root beer, about coach. any checks. I'm check. Oh, you're the check. Have a good game, boys. Uh, I'll, I'll take a root beer, coach. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they're in the fridge over here. Hurry up and come get it. Uh, I can't right now. Vladen's too busy. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the giggler? Uh, I can't right now. Vladen's too busy. <laughs> Hey, Sailor Hockey fans, PJ Wharton of Yampa Valley Bank here to thank you for supporting our hometown hockey team. Do Yampa Valley Bank is proud to support all of our Steamboat student athletes and to sponsor this broadcast of Steamboat Sailors Hockey are, on right? KTYV Sports on FM and 98.9. Steamboat High School Athletics are an example of our genuine hometown, Yampa Valley Bank, genuine hometown banking. Enjoy the game and let's go, Sailors! It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. My name is Quinn yeah. Morton, and I'm a senior in high school. I'm number 26, and I play defense. I've probably been playing hockey for the about team 10, 11 dark. years. I also like to play golf during the summer because it's such a good hobby. I like to go to college at Mines, dark. and uh, ah. yeah, I'll try to play there in college. Ooh, white. Oh, level. they're white. We're in the way, Jersey. In 10 years, I see myself with a good job and looking to start a family. Outside of school, I'm involved in not really any other extracurricular activities. Activities. My favorite subject in school is chemistry. My favorite movie is Hacksaw Ridge because it's just a really good film and I like the way it was made. Last summer I worked a lot and I went to Washington DC to see my grandparents. Um, my goals for this season are to try to win state and just be seen as a leader on and off the ice. My goals for life are just to have no regrets and just be happy with where I'm at. Um, what I remember most about being a sailor is having the team around you and knowing that they have your back at all points. I'm Quinn Morton, I'm a senior in high school, and I'm proud to be a sailor. You just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. Hi, I'm Joanna Allison with Allstate. My husband, Brett, and I are excited to bring Allstate Insurance to the Yampa Valley. We are so fortunate to live in this amazing place and want to help you protect all that's good in your life. Brett and I are here to provide local insurance advice and help customize an insurance plan that meets your needs. Stop by the Allison Allstate Agency in Steamboat on 5th Street, right across from Mahogany Ridge for a free quote. Or Google us at Allstate Steamboat. We are a proud supporter of the Steamboat Sailors. Steamboat.
Resorts is a proud sponsor of Sailor Athletics. Do you have friends or family coming to town but space at your place is a little tight? Steamboat Resorts by Wyndham Vacation Rentals is here to help. Steamboat Resorts has been the lodging leader here for over 30 years, and we've got great rates at more than 800 units in 38 properties around the base area. Call us at 879-8000 and ask for the Locals Connection discount. That's the Locals Connection, 879-8000, or visit SteamboatResorts.com. For the Sailor Spotlight, a chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. I'm Zach Walsh, and I'm a junior in high school. I'm number 22, and I play right wing. This is my second year playing on the high school team, and I also play varsity golf. I'd like to go to college at CU because it seems like you did college. I will not play any sports in college. I'll just be getting a engineering degree. Where do I see myself in 10 years? Being a mechanical engineer. Outside of school, I'm also involved in working and golfing, of course. My favorite subject in school is physics, and my my favorite movie is American Sniper because war movies are sick. I worked last summer painting houses around Steamboat. And that was my goals for the season are to make it to playoffs and pretty much just do good in the season overall. My goals in life are to be an engineer. What I remember most about being a sailor is the bus rides with the boys. I'm Zach Walsh and I'm a junior and I'm proud to be a sailor. You just heard the Sailor Spotlight. On Fox Sports 98.9. Steamboat 8 is your go-to place for everything you need for your home. Bridget here from Steamboat 8. And we aren't just Kate's power tools. Ace has a great pet section to keep your furry friend happy and healthy. A fun toy section stocked with items for all ages to make the perfect gift. Beautiful housewares, cookware, candles, and more decorate and add beautiful styles to your table. Stop into Steamboat 8. Proud to support your Steamboat sailor. And see all that we have for your home. Steamboat 8, the help of all your home needs. Hey, Sailor Hockey fans. P.J. Wharton of Yampa Valley Bank here to thank you for supporting our hometown hockey team. Yampa Valley Bank is proud to support all of our Steamboat student athletes and to sponsor this broadcast of Steamboat Sailors Hockey on KTYB Sports on FM at 98.9. Steamboat High School Athletics are an example of our genuine hometown, Yampa Valley Bank, genuine hometown banking. Enjoy the game and let's go, Sailors! It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. Hi, I'm Tanner Ripley. I'm a sophomore. I'm number four. I am a center. This is my 11th year playing hockey. I also play baseball. I'd like to go to college at CSU, Wyoming State, or Texas A&M. I don't think I'll be playing in college. I probably won't get a scholarship. In 10 years, I see myself with a job working with something with animals. I also see myself with a nice family. Outside of school, I'm not involved too much, just chilling with the boys. My favorite subject in school right now is shop because I get to have all that free time and I get to express what I like to do and what I like to build. My favorite movie probably has to be Lonesome Dove because it's one of my favorite old, old western movies. Last summer I took a rafting trip and... You said you had no dance moves movie. on the my air. Memory was no, the I don't want to give it away. I got to jump off cliffs <laughs> and I got to hang with a bunch of Germans. My goals for the season are to be one of the best players and hard workers and I'd like to get over 10 points this year. What I will remember most about being a sailor is probably all the locker room and hanging out with the boys and what it is no like to play for the school at home. I'm Tanner, I'm a sophomore and I'm proud to be a sailor. You've just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. Sports-related dental injuries account for more than 600,000 ER visits each year. If your child is playing a sport and not wearing a mouth guard, they are 60 times more likely to suffer harm to their teeth. Steamboat Dental Center offers custom-fit mouth guards made from an exact model of your child's teeth. They are effective, comfortable, easy to clean, and also cheaper than a visit to the ER. Call Steamboat Dental Center today and receive half off a custom mouth guard. Dental Center.com. Go Sailors! Hi, this is Doc from Doc's Auto Clinic. When your 
car isn't feeling well, head over to Doc for above and beyond customer satisfaction and the most expert service around. The techs at Doc are ASD certified and go the extra mile to give you the peace of mind you need to know your vehicle is safe. We take care of you and your family by taking care of your car. We are located just past the moon on the west end of town off of Elk River Road. Doc Auto Team, proud to support the Steamboat Sale. Small emergencies. Scrapes, sprains, and stitches. They're bound to happen. Yeah, see, that's where I got to. quick care from trusted physicians. At UC Health Yampa Valley Medical Center, our emergency care team is here I for tried. you and your loved ones. The board-certified physicians at YVMC are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, to get you in and out the door quickly. You'll experience the same safe and high-quality care you've come to expect at YVMC. Now with smaller prices for life's small emergencies. Yampa Valley Medical Center, now part of the UC Health family. Financial investments are very important, but so are the investments of time, patience, and encouragement our young athletes receive from their coaches, teachers, and mentors. I'm Chris Puckett, your Steamboat Springs Edward Jones financial advisor. Now's the time to make investments that can help provide money for the ever-rising cost of college. There's more than one strategy to save for college. Please come in to discuss your options. For a free college cost analysis, call Chris Puckett at 879-1851 or stop by his office at 941 Lincoln Avenue. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Member SIPC. It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. Hey, I'm Sean. I'm a sophomore in high school. I'm number 21, playing defense. I've played for seven years. This is my first year on the high school team. I also like lacrosse and surfing. I like to go to college in California or Hawaii or somewhere with a beach. I try and play in college, but I don't know. Maybe. I'll see how it works out. In 10 years, I hope I'll be living out of my car and climbing mountains and surfing and just kind of traveling up and down the west coast of north and south america you know outside of school i'm in teen council student council fbla stuff like that you know my favorite subject is not ap physics probably math my favorite movie is pulp fiction it's got some great one-liners in there it's pretty funny it's got some good action too last summer i went backpacking for three weeks in leadville mountain area and I went to California a couple times, surfed a lot. My goals for this season are to get better, have fun times, and to win a lot. Let's do that My hockey. goals for life How you gonna do that are hockey? to surf a lot, be happy, be successful, and oh, make sorry, an sorry, impact. Sorry, 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 sorry. What I remember sorry, most sorry, about being sorry, a sailor sorry, is sorry, probably that. all the team bonding and the team dinners and the locker room and stuff. I am Sean. I think he's got the volume too loud over there. You just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. Sports on FM. This is 98.9 KTYB. Steamboat Springs. Don't move. The face-off is just moments away. Now we join the call of Steamboat Sailors Hockey on 98.9. So obviously, uh, we're normally on 98.9 KTYB Sports on FM. Today, we are as well. Tomorrow, we'll do a so obviously, uh, tomorrow night we're uh, for the hockey and tomorrow for the basketball. We're going to be on our Sports on Brothers FM station, KCOQ. But this evening, we are as well. It is 98.9 KTYB Sports on FM bringing you Steamboat Sailors Hockey. I'm a lot Chase. Joined by Andrew Bilski. The puck is down. We're just underway. Your Steamboat Sailors taking on the Air Academy Cadets. And it looks like you're sticking with that first line of Johnny Q. Joined by Andrew Bilski. Nate Kelly. We're just underway. The point. Your Steamboat Sailors taking on the Air out there as well. Your Steamboat Sailors donning their first line of away uniforms here at the Howie Dome. The white jerseys, red numbers. The point. And red and black trim. Chance for the point. Tight angle shot. That one stopped there by Grebby. there. And it'll be cycled in low once again. Dome. Steamboat the on the radio dial is right to left here. And red first period of action. Point tight angle As shot. We're just underway by Andrew. Andrew. Thanks for joining us. Oh, it'll be oh thanks for having me, Vlad. I really on the radio dial is right to left here. Oh, it's fun to have you along the ride. Here comes Kelly wheeling out of the corner. Backhand past the back post. Couldn't get through. Oh, thanks for having me, Vlad. Scoops up the loose puck once again. Chases this one down far corner. Oh, it's 
three, though, by Eric Adam. They're going to try and score on the near side, but there's Kaminsky. The post couldn't get and through. finally, on a second and third effort, Eric Adam gets it out of their own zone. This one down and down the length of the sheet of ice. Post three, though, by 15, Eric Adam. 54 left. On the near side. Long stretch pass. Kaminsky. Finds Nate Kelly in the offensive end. He winds and fires. Big save. Rebound kicked out, but the point was already streaking by that puck as it bounced back out towards him. Long stretch pass. Finds Nate Kelly in the offensive end. He winds and fires. Big save. Big body thrown there. Throwing his weight around. That's streaking Matt by Kempers. that puck as it bounced back out. Scoreless here, early stages of period that one. That puck worked out to the blue can. line. LaPointe Not tries to chase it down. Thrown there. Throwing as his weight around. That Kelly are both Kempers. tail end of long shifts Scoreless here. Pass here comes to the blue line. line. Could be one. held in there by Chiga the instead. LaPointe it's fired right back down. into the steamboat end on a and Kelly are both dump and change effort. But a quick stretch pass. Here comes Quinn Morton. Morton into the high slot. He shoots. And he didn't miss by much as he was cutting on Across that slot, but up and change Jacob Brebby was out of Here position. Comes Quinn Morton. So just kind of Morton trying to into the high slot. He shoots. There. And he didn't the miss by much. Shot goes just wide. Now the other end. It's going to be sent in on goal. Patrick Sumner, the starting Jacob goal tender here for your Sailors, is so able to kind of gather that one in. It was headed wide, there. but when the shot goes stops just down, wide, man, the other end. on. He sent in on goal. And Patrick Sumner, the starting goal tender here for your Sailors, is able to gather that one in. It was headed wide. Good start, though, for the Sailors. Good first shift. Good first shift. Couple, two, three shots there on that first. And our first, first uh, flurry of the game here. Two minutes. It's going to be worse in the near in. corner. Offensively draw. Yanka takes shift. over. He'll just wheel up two, himself now. There. Outlet yeah, pass first. there. Finds the first skates flurry. of Sullivan. He chases it down, though. Work tries to get it corner. in deep. Comes off free to him again, but he brings Yonka it in offside. Over. As Steele was now out of the play there. Finds the skates of Sullivan. The line right now is David Steele, John Sullivan, and Griffin Malkin. But he brings it in offside. And his boarding and Yonka was ahead of the play. There. Notable looks healthy though, scratch line right is now is Kate with Colombo, Colombo, John Sullivan, and as well as Zach Walsh, Walsh two players that off the time to dress up. So Coach Thiel making sure Notable he gets some time for healthy some of these guys is that are depth Colombo. players. As well as here now comes the chance. Thiel was out front, so swings at the loose Thiel puck, sure goes through the crease and stays out somehow. Guys. That are Body flies players. on the other side. It's going to be kept Here's in for a moment by Morgan. Chance. He's got Steel a little help at the line from Swings at the loose puck. Griffin Malpey blocks that line. Somehow. Curtis Malpey also another healthy scratch. He's taking photos side. today. It's going to be kept in for a moment Here's by Morgan. He walks in, fires one, tipped in front. Thiel was on the Griffin back Malpey. door. Great Walks defensive play Walker there from the wire who got back healthy scratch and was able to lift his stick just at the right point. Oh, shot to goal though. Luke Borgny intercepts the feed that was coming out front. And from the high slot, he's able to rip one home over the goal. Oh, Luke scoring starts early here. 13 48 left in first period and play. It's one nothing slot, Steve. He's able to rip one and home over the That buck made a fortunate Rebbe. bounce to him and right there in the middle of the slot. Early here. Goalie 13, didn't really have a chance to save that. Play, it's one nothing Stebo. So a good a bucket, fast start here for Stebo. Right just over three minutes into this first period. Really have Next chance. line out. It's going to gonna be McNamara with Kenyon so and Ripley. Fast start here. G-Mac works it into the near corner. Fired just up over wall. three minutes into this first period. Pitches in the blue line. Gets a little help from Kenyon. It's going to be McNamara, McNamara with Loda and Grant Ripley. And he'll try and get it even lower on the cycle play. Fired up. Do it initially, second effort, Pitches he does get it down below the goal line. Gets a help from Kenny. Ripley's in and behind in the goal to try to chase this one down. There. Throws the weight around. Even lower and on the now play. it's going to be Dakota Kenny trying to pick up the loose puck. It down below and Gretzky's off. A cycle from the far side behind. The Ripley goal couldn't goal reach it. Second effort. Throws the weight around. Not good either, but Beckett keeps it in. And at the blue line, he rips a shot. Loose puck well over the goal frame. Not making friends. Shooting it that high from the blue line. Here's Kempers now. He gets it in. Kenyon swinging a miss on that. Popped over his stick as he tried to one-time it. Well over the goal frame. Not making able friends. Hang on. That high from the blue line. Here's Kempers what now. He, he gets so it in. Kenyon swinging a miss on oh, that. Popped over Noticing uh, what's one -time playing it. with my eyes is the uh, Sailors Grabby. wearing their on. away jerseys with their home socks. <laughs> what are you seeing so far? Oh, yeah. I didn't uh, realize that. Noticing uh, you know, what's playing with my eyes is the Sailors wearing their away jerseys. Half home, half away. Ripley just threw his man to the ice. <laughs> and it's a puck that's behind the you goal. Know, and it's the delayed ball. Right? I think that's against right. Grant McNamara. Half 
does come. Kemper's will touch his puck. And G-Mac, I believe, and is a puck the box. Two minutes the tripping the call. Penalty. Looks as though a delayed call. As I think that's one of the things. Dogs out of there. Let me care of you by taking care of your car. This puck. The Ampton Valley Bank. The Ampton Valley is only locally owned bank member at FDIC as well as Alpine Lumber. Employee owned and operated the contractor's choice. Think Dogs out of there. Let me take care of your car. 1241 left. First period of play. 1-0 lead for Steamboat. They're right to left. Here on KTYV 98-9. They are now a man down after McNamara. 1241 left. Goal line. And it's a puck that's sent up ice. And Kelly here on KTYV. Watching on. Sees he's going to easily be that first man to the loose puck. And down after But eventually he gets out muscled and it's taken by the KDAT. Puck that's sent up ice. Still looking for their first. Watching on. Real shot on goal here. Be that first man. John Yonka picks it up in his own end now. He goes behind the goal to the far side. He tries to get out of the front. Can't do it. And it's taken back right here. Got a huge check there from the point. Goal here. And he'll heads up one up that hits the light fixture. Goes behind the at the blue line. And what up? He tries to get out of the play there. The point. Taken back right here. Got a huge check there from the point. He made that hit look heads up one up that hits the light fixture. He put anything into it. Was able to take his man down behind the point. Those seem to be the best ones for some reason. In the hit column. He made that. It's going to be 12-11. On the clock now, with the buck 40 still it. left in the He's penalty kill. Shot goes towards the goal now. It's going to be blocked down though, and Morton will send it the length of the sheet. It's going to be 12-11 on the clock now. Chased down by Mitchell still. Willis. Willis will go deep to deep far side to Shot McGuire. Goes towards the goal now. And he'll just outlet down this down one quickly up ice to McKay to the sheet. A high rising shot goes well wide down, and it's watched in the corner by Patrick Sumner. Deep far side to McGuire. Yonka was there, and Sullivan almost got free. Quickly up ice to McKay. He's going to come in. High rising the offense well for the KDATs. They we had to touch up though by Patrick. It was on the laid off sides, allowing for Sullivan to there. scoop and the loose puck up and get it free. down the length of the Bucks sheet. Going to come in now the Sean Sullivan again. again for the KDATs. They were fighting for just up front of the press box here. It was laid off side, and allowing for Sullivan low once more. Bodies flying. And get it. Steamboat I see early on trying to really establish their physical play. Fighting for just in front of the press box here. Sent back out to the red line. The Chiga stops it short of going deep. Fires one in that's just wide of the goal. I don't know there. if Sumner knew it was headed that wide or if he just got a little lucky out there. Out First the shot on goal, stopped by Sumner. Short of going in the power play. Fires at least that's just generates a the chance. Goal. It was Geist. I don't know if Sumner knew it was headed that wide or the top of the He just got a little lucky there. First shot on goal, stopped by Sumner. 36 seconds left on the man advantage. Power Still 11 6 left. Generates a chance. Period play. It's LaPointe who and he's going to have the top of the Murphy on the near side. We're going to get back into the back of the man advantage. Still 11.06 left. And it will be won by Eric Cattery. Hey, that's get a shot on goal. Tipped on frame. Big save from Sumner. Rick and Malfi on the near side. And he didn't like that. He got a stick right up. And it will be won by Eric Cattery. there. And he'll have some words with Geis Brack. That was an excellent tip by Geis Brack. And he didn't like that. He got a stick right up. With the big toe nail. there. He's lucky he didn't cut his nails earlier today. Geis Brack. 29 seconds left. Looks as though the Sailors are going to need to have a new face-off man big here. Toenail. He's lucky he didn't play there from the nails early today. And he ushers in Malfi now. Looks as though the Sailors are going to from Malfi trying to win this need draw. To have a new face Can't do it. Hey, that's here. another chance. Here's Hoped away though by LaPointe. Point. Sent back in. Another delayed offside as Air Academy has to touch up once more. There's Borgdahl. He sends it to Malfi. Malfi trying to get free. He's dispossessed though. Work to the front of the goal. Big bodies flying yet again. And now it's going to be set the length of the sheet. Here's a foot race in the point. It's going to be the first man there. Great hustle. He'll send one out to Malfi. Who couldn't get the shot off as he was shoulder to shoulder with the defender. Nice intercept now from the point. Dancing around a man. And he gets free. An opportunity from a tight angle. No goal. Big stop there for Grebe who didn't even know where the puck went. Nice out the blue line. The Chance point. for Borgen to walk along the, the line here. And five he on five three play now. Opportunity from the high angle. No Back goal. on the near side Big now. At the half wall. Shoots one. Who didn't know where it gets on frame. The Picked up by Air Academy. Again unable to clear. The point. Tries to get it over to Malpe. Just swings at it with a backhand. Missed the net but not by much. Far corner. It's Malpe again. Looking for LaPointe behind him. Again unable to clear. Pops all the way to Beckett. LaPointe. And it'll be kept in again by Nate Kelly. What a shift here. Missed the net but not by much. Sailors. Sent down the length of the sheet, and the point will just make his way to the bench as he had a heck of a penalty kill there on the tail end of it. Well, that offensive rush was led by the point with the hard forecheck getting the puck to the bench as he had a heck of a penalty kill there on the tail end of it. 
My head off. That's a bird. Is is by you're wondering. The oh, it's a bird. A Hard four yeah. check. Getting the puck. What color is it in behind? I mean, I don't know. I'm assuming royal blue. <laughs> but I'm probably wrong on that. You're wondering. Oh, it's a bird. Here's a shot. Kate from Embers yeah. off the ensuing draw. What Chance for Kenyon on the turnaround. I mean, I don't know. I'm assuming it's royal be stopped. Blue. And then right in front of the probably wrong on that. Or sorry, the uh, official. Shot from Kenyon. Check that seems to be draw. from behind. Chance for Kenyon on the turnaround. Not going to be called down. Ripper takes over. Going to be stopped. Pass and right near side of the penalty. Too far there for sorry, Kenyon. The, uh, and it'll be cleared back a down by Eric. Be from They're going to take over at their own blue line. Not be called down. DD pass there. Good hard one from Lichtenberger. Too and far sent up. Kenyon. There's a couple of uh, pretty they'll good names here. Back down by Eric. They're going to take over at their own blue line. Are you sure you're pronouncing them? DD pass there. Good hard one from Lichtenberger. And I'm sure I'll hear about it. Here comes Ripley now. pretty good names In the offensive end for Steamboat. He's going to be thrown into the boards. Are you sure you're pronouncing them? Sends it to the far side. And Eric Academy took it for a moment. Trying to clear Grant McNamara. The puck is there. And he keeps it in for a moment, Steamboat. and He's then thrown into the board. It goes into the neutral zone, the far side. And it's a mythological bird. For a mythological bird. Who's that? 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 It's a mythological every bird. bird that's mythological. mythological bird. Who, said, who sold you that? Stick with me. Do you know so, any other mythological, mythological birds? It's royal blue. Oh, okay. So, so many. <laughs> I just don't want to make the listeners jealous of every mythological bird, bird knowledge. Oh. Blue. Come on now. Chance here. Sent out Stick front. Backhander you know on goal. No, no, no going, though, as so Grant many. McNamara <laughs> then want to barrel to the ice yet again. He's the antagonist already under the skin. You can tell of this KDS squad. Backhander on goal. No, they took exception to his early going, though, as Grant McNamara then kind of the ice yet get him again. back somewhat. He's going to attack already under the skin. You can he's going to stand in front of the net. He's going to get it. As Quinn Morton just it's dangled in, had a shot that went over the goal. And then Kemper's got his in from the blue line. Somewhat. But hey, throws his way around. At the other end, though, Eric Cowan. He's going to stand in front of the net. He's going to get it. Quinn Morton just dangled in, had a shot that went over the goal. Foot race in the neutral zone. Puck is taken by Cody Kenyon. Tried to send it out to Morton. At the other end, though, Eric Cowan. Back to his shooting zone. Steve gets a line. Eric Johnson. Eric Cowan. Trying to get it from the near side. Nutrial guys brought to you. Try to go to the near side corner. It out to Morton. And Morton takes but over on his own goal. Back Fires a nice pass zone. out to Malpe. Zimbo gets a line. Looking for the good Eric cross seam. Trying to get it from the there to Thiel. That's guys correct. But it's too far for him. Morton takes it behind his own net. Morton takes over behind his own goal. There are a couple of Malpe. A couple guys here on the good Eric Academy squad. Feed there to Thiel. It's been, you know, since last year since I watched him. And McGuire takes it behind his own net. If you see what I did there. But there's a couple guys here on this Air Academy squad. There's a Chance out you know, front. Slash out. Year, out. It's going to be denied as Sullivan had the opportunity in the high slot. Comes from the near uh, side. Chased down by Yonka. There's, there's a bird. And he'll chip it down the near side. Glass. <laughs> there's a and chance behind out the front. Scooped up out. Griffin Malfi. Denied as Sullivan Wheels right back out on the near side. side. Cycles it low. Comes through to the near and side. Sullivan by Yonka. Cloud he'll chip it down the near side. Glass. He'll squeegee him on. Behind goal where it's scooped up by Griffin Malfi. Wheels right back out on the near side. Cycles it low. out now. And it's cleared down. Length of the sheet by Ladock. They'll squeegee him off, and, and it'll go zooms all the way across the, the red line. Steamboat. Puck comes out now, and is cleared down. Lacoque? Sheet by Lacoque. Is that it? I'm not certain. <laughs> and it'll go all the way across the sure. red Le line. Sure. <laughs> Le so, we've got... Is that it? I'm not certain. <laughs> Big C, little C, a Q. <laughs> So that's an sure. S, Look a K, up. and a J all next to each other. So that's a nope. So that's a nope. <laughs> so we've got. We cycle down low. Taken by Big Nate C, Kelly little C, the a Q. One by Steamboat. So that's First an line S, back a K, out here for the J Sailors. All next to each As other. Kelly will just nope. wheel <laughs> into the slot. Dangles. Cycle gets free. Low. And Take gets it into the front of the goal. But Kaminsky was robbed on the doorstep. Back out here. Now it's going to be taken by the Sailors. They have to backtrack the neutral zone. Dangles. Gets free. And gets it into the front of the goal. But Kaminsky was robbed. Again, Kaminsky on the doorstep. in trying to throw his now weight around and get the puck. The he did an excellent the job in the first part of that. Reporting. Puck on three to the we'll near side. Yonka over. pinches up the blue line. Gets it to the Kelly. Again, he gets poked check away from him. Throw his weight and around. Eric Academy will take this fire job of the first part of that. The sheet of ice. Again, cannot clear. Kelly now behind the blue line. He also gets poke check. Here comes the captain. This is Aaron Ortiz. And Eric coming up ice. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. Ortiz in the offensive end for Eric Academy. 
He also gets poke check. Here comes Eventually the Eventually, it's turned back to win. Nice job from Young. Quick and back in the back end for the offensive end for Eric. The other end for, uh, Here Eric comes the point. Chance. Shot. Big save. Eventually, it's and the rebound is going to be win. picked up by David. Point once again. again. On the Sends back one to the back post. Looking for Kelly over his stick. Comes out from the blue line. Here comes there by Sean Yanka. He wants in on the scoring. Rips the rebound frame. But it'll be stopped down there by Grebby. And he will hang on. No whistle. Comes out no rebound. There by Sean Yanka. He wants in on the scoring. First period of play. One nothing lead for his team. Stop down there. Let's see here on the and he official roster. No says no uh, rebounds to speak of. Jacob or Jacob Grebby. First period of play, one nothing. That's totally right. That's pretty much it. We'll just I see here on perfect. the official roster. It says Jacob or Jacob Grebby. Probably That's totally Jacob. right. That's pretty much what I'll do. We'll just pretend it's not perfect. Do you think anyone in that school says Jacob today? Come on. Um, Jacob? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Probably. He's going Jacob. to be taken and fired up by Air Academy. Again, not out. Tempers holds it at the blue line. Rips in a that shot. Says Jacob and it goes there. wide. He was Come looking on. for a tip um, and run. Yeah, why not? Back it now. Cycles it down the far side. Yeah, to be he had Mac fired up. Got away from him, though. Again, not out. And the Cadets try to get it out with their own end yet again. And it goes wide. It seems though we're looking to our left quite a bit here, Andrew, in this first period. Play. Steve, of course, wall. He right to left on the radio dial. Him, though. One nothing the play, but it could very well be more. And yet again, Grebby's had a few big saves at key moments for him in the first period of play. Sailors, of course, seem to dominate. Right to left they seem to, on right to, left seem to be owning that dial. area right there in front of the net. But it could very well be more. Grebby's had a few big saves taken now by Ripley. He just sends it down the half. Great opportunity a moment ago. It just went by his stick, but he found the puck right in that slot area, as we talked about. Taken now by Ripley. Sends it down the half wall. And now right. opportunity Spot a moment near side is at the hash mark. Just went by Tempers is in there the as puck. well as Ripley. It right comes out to Kenyon. Dakota Kenyon poke check. But Colby Beckett steps up. He keeps it in and will just rip it down the wall at the behind the net. Taken there Tempers by Rip. In there. He's well going to try and get free. Can't do it. It's poke checked away Dakota from him. Kenyon poke check. Chasing down the loose puck is Daran. Daran can't clear. Has help and still can't get it out. What an effort here so far in the first period play by Steamboat. They've just done. Such an excellent puck puck job of Darren the four check. Darren keep this puck clear. in the zone. Has I think still can't get it out. What maybe here so three shots total so far. So far. Three forty-five left. They've just first period of play, one nothing lead. Job the four check. You know, and the Cadets are uh, no, icing it so much they could probably see. open their own maybe bakery. Three shots total so far. Three forty-five left. First period of play, one nothing lead for Steamboat. No, no, Cadets are icing it so much they could probably open their own. It's going to be taken by Steamboat again. Another face-off. Win. It seems like the teams in the offensive end have had the better of no, the uh, no, faceoff no, no, percentage it has. <laughs> With that uh, power it's play earlier, Air Academy got a again. couple face-off face wins when it, when it was like in the, the offensive end have had the better of the uh, face-off percentage. Uh, there's some more icing going on. With that uh, power play earlier, Air Academy got that a couple on your face off wins when it was it's in a history, the man. We'll look at that at intermission. <laughs> offensive end for them. Uh, there's some more icing going on. Okay. Uh, Sullivan taking the face-off. looking at that picture on your phone. Won it. It's a right about man. that zone. Ooh, just missed that post. I'm telling you, it's the anticipation <laughs> of having some offensive time. Okay, well, so taking the face off. It's going to be taken on the near side. And he won Chased it. Chased down and kept in play right nicely by Ooh, Sean Yonka, who pitched in. Comes right back to him as he's going to backhand time. it down the near side With wall. And it's going to be taken on the near side. We've got a hand side. pass called against and Steamboat. And that'll bring this one out into the neutral zone for the next Comes right back. 309 left here. As he's going to backhand it down the near side wall. And they're taking it all the way down the ice. I don't like that. And that'll bring this one out mm -hmm. into the neutral zone. I think a hand pass. Draw. 309 left that here. I thought that was a high stick. Here we go. Oh. Um, Rodden, they're no, no, taking no, it all saying, the way down the ice. I think I thought was the one that like, brought it all the way down. Oh. Um, yeah, he signaled hand I pass, though. Pass. Dude, do that, I, that I just said that again, man. I didn't pass. Oh. I'm on it. I'm crushing it. No, no, no. I'm saying a high stick. Oh, little offside. Brought it all the way down. Just out. Quinn Morton was able to somehow recognize that Sullivan was ahead of him. Sent it into the zone. Gave up possession, but Aaron passed by the Cadets. Oh, we're going to do another chance for Steamboat. Here's Sullivan. Picks it up at the red line. Wheels in across the blue to his forehand. Gave a left-handed. Sullivan sends it out front. Kicked away by Grebby with another chance for Steamboat. Be on the doorstep. Forgetting now. Chases it down. Wheels in across the blue to his forehand. His head up. Turning up ice. Sullivan sends it out front. Forgetting. Ducks the shoulder. Gets to the offensive zone. And he'll go to the far side. Corner before 
And and actually, he's bumped pick his head up. up he fight. gets right back up. It's helped from Steam. Sullivan. Morgan. And Steamboat with another great chance here. Alone. As and, Sullivan walks out, go fires one corner. by the big corner. save for Grebby. Eventually, he's and he will off. hang on again. He gets right, right back into that, uh, right that logo in and his chest. And with generally, another great rebounds don't here. come out from there. As Sullivan I believe they refer to that area as the bread basket. And he will hang on again. Right to the cookie jar. I mean, bread basket. Cookie jar. I don't know, man. Maybe I want some cookies. I believe they refer to that area as the bread basket. Mm. Right into the now face off one right over to Beckett. High shot again, right into the faces of the cadets. It's going to be Lapointe who takes this at the red line. In across the blue with speed to his backhand. Tries to get a tried to get that to the forehand and tuck it upstairs. Ended up doing just that. I think he found the third level of the Howie Dome on that one. Uh, he's hit metal in the ceiling a couple times tonight. <laughs> Well, that he hit the light before. He hit the uh, air, air duct over there this past time. Now he's going to take the face off here. Oh, the point wins it, but the K-Bets jump out and intercept it. Good move. This is your audition. Keep Mike your going. Geisbrecht. <laughs> Not sure uh, if we're saying that right. Geisbrecht. No one's told us we aren't, so I'm saying yes, we are. Well, he got a good jump on that face off. Here now is Borgny. Ooh, nice soft spot pass there to LaPointe, who comes in with Kaminsky with him. Now dangles to the front, shoots, and a big save from Grebby. I don't know how that one found his body. It looked like LaPointe was in and was about to score as he just dangled by two different defenders. And we have just 92 seconds left here in first period play. One up the lead for Steamboat, but they're really starting to... Uh, pile up the chances. I thought I uh, came to watch an ice hockey game. It was more like uh, some sort of dance contest. He was trying out for the U.S. figure skating ice dance team for 2018. Well, I think he made it. Here is Ripley now. He takes it behind the net, comes out front, shoots one from a bad angle. And another save. There he is, man. Right in the way. Grabby, hope we it's funny hope how the goalies right. always get in the way. Probably not. It's funny how the goalies always get in the way, though. This face-off now is going to be taken on the far side of the ice. Sent up off the glass and out of play. And I uh, don't know what that idea was all about. Uh, he looks a little disappointed that they uh, that puck went out of play. <laughs> Gavin Gray. 119 to go. Souvenir for one of the lucky fans here at the Howie Dome. Ripley's going to take this face-off offensive end for Steamboat to the glove side of left-catching Jakob Grebe. And well, see, now you're calling him Jakob, too. Well, your fault. Here <laughs> it is, taken by the Cadets. They're going to try and break this one out of their own end. Push forward by Geisbrecht. He is Ooh, collided with hit. there. Morton is definitely feeling just as much of that check. And Ripley trips his man up, and he's going to be headed to the box. But Geisbrecht, man, he took one right there. A minute to go in the period, first period play. And Greisbeck, Greisbeck will just uh, make a beeline for the bench after that whistle. He called that right, definitely tripping. <laughs> yeah. Ripley definitely had his hand, uh, his stick right there at the feet of that KDEP player. It was Greisbeck again, so he, he was kind of taking it on that shift. Drew a penalty, though. We'll see how uh, long his fuse is as this game goes on. <laughs> Steamboat's going to win the ensuing faceoff in their defensive end. Sent out front to Kempers, and he'll send it the length of the sheet as the Cadets will have to backtrack all the way to their own end. It's going to be taken by McGuire. Tries for the near side. In on the forecheck is Griffin Malpy. It's going to be sent to the near side, though, by Air Academy. Goes down the length of the sheet, and no icing on the play. Air Academy, first one there. Good chance from Lichtenberger. Excellent hustle by Lichtenberger. But it's out the other way, two on one. It's going to be a pass to Sullivan. Gathers it on his backhand, gets a chance at it, then Ooh. took a swing as it was underneath. Mitchell Willis did not like him taking an extra shot at the goalie. <laughs> well, Referees are over there having a discussion with the players. Sullivan, that one was under the goalie. I mean, I've, I've, I've had this discussion it. because I definitely... Have, have done that <laughs> so even if they have it under and it's initially going to be a face off then it's 
a dead play. You're not supposed to keep swinging, even though a lot of people say play to the whistle. And Mitchell Willis is getting rough on that. So we'll see what they give the respective teams here. Sullivan is headed to the box. <laughs> I don't know if you saw, but Grebby's face mask came off in all of this, and then he got a high stick to the top of his head that no longer had any protection on it. So it looks as though Sullivan may have gotten the extra penalty on that one. But no, they did numerically not. they're saying it's the same. So 11 seconds left here in the period. We'll get things situated. It looks as though they just gave him coincidentals. Which yeah. is lucky. Could have got the ox. Could have got the extra slash on that. Yeah, I mean they put it on the board. I was confused for a second. Me too. That brings us to the horn, though. One nothing lead for your Steamboat Sailors after the first 17 minutes of play. Still a minute on the power play for Air Academy. When we get back, this is KTYV 98.9 bringing you Steamboat Sailors hockey here on a Friday evening. You can also watch online at SteamboatRadio.com. TYV 98.9, bringing you Steamboat Sailors hockey hey, uh, here on a Friday evening. You can also watch online at SteamboatRadio.com. The Steamboat Sailors are on the air. You're listening to Steamboat Sailors hockey on 98.9. Sponsored by John's Auto Clinic, Tampa Valley Bank, Alpine Lumber, Mountain View Car Wash, Steamboat Dental Center, and Chris Bucket with Edward Jones. Get on SteamboatRadio.com and watch the game live. But check out the complete schedule while you're there. It's also brought to you by Steamboat Ace Hardware. All State Insurance, the Allison Agency. UC Health Yampa Valley Medical Center. Russell's Auto Salon. And Steamboat Resorts by Wyndham Vacation Rentals. Remember, our sponsors support the sailors, so please support our sponsors. You're listening to Steamboat Sailors Hockey. Only on sports on FM. This is 98.9 KTYV. Steamboat Spring. And SteamboatRadio.com. I'm Terry. And this is Phil from Russell's Auto Salon. If you need help with your auto collision repair, we make it easy. Just bring me an email and a claim number, and I'll take care of the rest. Russell's Auto Salon, Colorado's premier collision center, leading the industry in technology where we have gone green with Enviro-based paint. Russell's Auto Salon, where we always meet by accident. 879-1515. Russell's Auto Salon. 879-1515. Russell's Auto Salon, where we always meet by accident. The team of Mountain View Car Wash and Detailing Professionals is proud to be supporting Sailor Sports this season. Whether a basic wash or a full detail, we know that the key to providing you with excellent service is teamwork and attention to detail. So while the Sailors are focusing on cleaning up the competition this season, we'll be focusing on cleaning up your vehicle. With affordable washes and a wide variety of detail services, we have the game plan to fit your budget and needs. We are located at the corner of Highway 40 and Trafalgar Drive. Mountain View Car Wash, where you won't get a penalty for having a dirty car. It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. Chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. I'm Nate Kelly and I'm in 12th grade. I'm number 19 and I play forward. I've played on the high school team for two years before this. I don't play any other sports. I'd like to go to college in the East, maybe at UNH or somewhere in Vermont. I will probably not play hockey in college. In 10 years, I see myself graduating from college, living probably back in Steamboat. I'm going to ski a lot. I don't really have any major plans. Though. Outside of school, I'm also involved in uh, ping pong. I'm a part of the ping pong club, and I play a lot of ping pong. My favorite subject in school is PE, and that's because I like to play the games and all the other sports that we do. My favorite movies are James Bond because they have a lot of action. Last summer, I chilled out a lot with all my friends. My goals for this season are to win and have fun. My goals for life are to graduate from college and high school and have a successful life. But what I will remember most about being a sailor is playing home games. I'm Nate Kelly. I'm in 12th grade and I'm proud to be a sailor. You just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. 
Taylor hockey fans, PJ Wharton of Yampa Valley Bank here to thank you for supporting our hometown hockey team. Yampa Valley Bank is proud to support all of our Steamboat student athletes and to sponsor this broadcast of Steamboat Sailors Hockey on KTYV Sports on FM and 98.9. Steamboat High School Athletics are an example of our genuine hometown, Yampa Valley Bank, genuine hometown banking. Enjoy the game and let's go, Sailors! Hi, this is Doc from Doc's Auto Clinic. When your car isn't feeling well, head over to Doc for above and beyond customer satisfaction and the most expert service around. The techs at Doc are ASC certified and go the extra mile to give you the peace of mind you need to know your vehicle is safe. We take care of you and your family by taking care of your car. We are located just past Moose on the west end of town off of Elk River Road. Doc Auto Clinic, proud to support the Steamboat Sale. This is Skip Deardorff from Alpine Lumber here in Steamboat Springs. Alpine Lumber is a Colorado company and is committed to being the best supplier of materials and related services to the professional builder and homeowner throughout the Yampa Valley, offering lumber and building materials, hardware, paints, and stains. And we're proud to support the Sailor's Ice Hockey. Easy to find Alpine Lumber, located on Pine Grove Road, past Walgreens. Alpine Lumber, employee owned and operated, the contractor's choice, the homeowner's friend. It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. Hello, my name is Matthew Kempers, and I'm a junior in high school. I'm number 16, and I play defense. I've been playing hockey for 12 years, and this is my second year on the team. I also like to bike race, play lacrosse, and occasionally hit the tennis ball. Uh, I'd like to go to college at CSU or MSU. I'll probably play some club hockey in college, but I'm looking to focus more on my academics. Uh, I see myself in 10 years with a great job and not letting money be an obstacle for me. Outside of school, I'm involved with hot tub cleaning with Luke Borgating, part of the BFA club, part of Steamboat Springs Team Council, and my favorite subject in school is shop because it gives me a lot of freedom and lets my mind be creative. My favorite movie is Avatar because there's a lot of action scenes in it and the blue people are fighting for what they love. Last summer, I went out to the vineyard and hung out with uh, Quinn Keefe, and I went to Belize on a mission trip with the Methodist Church, and I traveled around a lot in Colorado. My goals for the season are to bond with the boys and make it as far as we can, but also have lots of fun doing it. My goals in life are to have a great family, settle down, get a good job, and do what I love, which is hanging outdoors. What I will remember most most about being a sailor is the team dinners and just the great community and fans that we have at our home games. My name is Matthew Kempers. I'm a junior, and I'm proud to be a sailor. You've just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. Dental injuries account for more than 600,000 ER visits each year. If your child is playing a sport and not wearing a mouth guard, they are 60 times more likely to suffer harm to their teeth. Steamboat Dental Center offers custom fit mouth guards made from an exact model of your child's teeth. They are effective, comfortable, easy to clean, and also cheaper than a visit to the ER. Call Steamboat Dental Center today and receive half off a custom mouth guard. SteamboatDentalCenter.com. Go Sailors! Steamboat Ace is your go-to place for everything you need for your home. Bridget here from Steamboat Ace, and we aren't just paint and power tools. Ace has a great pet section to keep your furry friend happy and healthy. A fun toy section stocked with items for all ages to make the perfect gift. Beautiful housewares, cookware, candles, and more to decorate and add beautiful style to your table. Stop into Steamboat Ace, proud to support your Steamboat sailors, and see all that we have for your home. Steamboat Ace, the help for all your home needs. Financial investments are very important, but so are the investments of time, patience, and encouragement our young athletes receive from their coaches, teachers, and mentors. I'm Chris Puckett, your Steamboat Springs Edward Jones Financial Advisor. Now's the time to make investments that can help provide money for the ever-rising cost of college. There's more than one strategy to save for college. Please come in to discuss your options. For a free college cost analysis, call Chris Puckett at 879-1851 or stop by his office at 941 Lincoln Avenue. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Member SIPC. It's time for the
the sailor spotlight. A chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. Hey, I'm Sean. I'm a sophomore in high school. I'm number 21, playing defense. I've played for seven years. This is my first year on the high school team. I also like lacrosse and surfing. I like to go to college in California or Hawaii or somewhere with a beach. I try and play in college, but I don't know. Maybe I'll see how it works out. In 10 years, I hope I'll be living out of my car and climbing mountains and surfing and just kind of traveling up and down the west coast of North and South America, you know. Outside of school, I'm in teen council, student council, FBLA, stuff like that, you know. My favorite subject is not AP physics, probably math. My favorite movie is Pulp Fiction. It's got some great one-liners in there. It's pretty funny. It's got some good action, too. Last summer, I went backpacking for three weeks in Leadville Mountain area, and I went to California a couple times. I surfed a lot. My goals for this season are to get better, have fun times, and to win a lot. My goals for life are to surf a lot, be happy, be successful, and make an impact. What I'll remember most about being a sailor is probably all the team bonding and the team dinners in the locker room and stuff. My name's Sean. I'm a sophomore, and I'm proud to be a sailor. You've just heard the Sailor Spot. On Fox Sports 98.9. Hi, I'm Joanna Allison with Allstate. My husband, Brett, and I are excited to bring Allstate Insurance to the Yampa Valley. We are so fortunate to live in this amazing place and want to help you protect all that's good in your life. Brett and I are here to provide local insurance advice and help customize an insurance plan that meets your needs. Stop by the Allison Allstate Agency in Steamboat on 5th Street, right across from Mahogany Ridge for a free quote. Or Google us at Allstate Steamboat. We are a proud supporter of the Steamboat Sailors. Hi, this is Doc from Doc Auto Clinic. When your car isn't feeling well, head over to Doc for above and beyond customer satisfaction and the most expert service around. The techs at Doc are ASD certified and go the extra mile to give you the peace of mind you need to know your vehicle is safe. We take care of you and your family by taking care of your car. We are located just past Moose on the west end of town off of Elk River Road. Doc Auto Clinic, proud to support the Steamboat Sailor. Small emergencies, scrapes, sprains, and stitches, they're bound to happen. Uh, they, they you deserve quick it. care from trusted physicians. At UC Health Yampa Valley Medical Center, our emergency care team is here for you and your loved ones. The board-certified physicians at YVMC are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, I to get you happy. in and out the door quickly. You'll He's experience happy. the same safe and high-quality care you've come to expect at YVMC. Now with smaller prices for life's small emergencies. Yampa Valley Medical Center, now part of the UC Health Yampa. Happy. This is 98.9 KTYB. Steamboat Springs. Don't move. The face of us is just moments away. Now we join the call of Steamboat Sailors Hockey on 98.9. Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. We are back again from the Howie Dome here in Steamboat Springs, Colorado. For the second period of tonight's matchup, your Sailors taking on the Air Academy Cadets, a fictional, well, a mythological bird made up by the school itself, as we found out. Uh, they wanted to kind of do something that was similar to the Air Force Falcon, so it looks somewhat like a falcon, but on some pictures it does have a gank link with a like, nail through it. I don't know what that's all about. But anywho, the pictures are funny. There are a lot of them that have it in royal blue. <clears throat> nudge, nudge, wink, wink. And, Somebody uh, told me they were royal blue. I, don't, so, I heard the same thing. Yeah. It's, that's so weird. Uh, 825, we're your children. We've got Steamboat Sailors Hockey here on KTYV. 98.9 Sports on FM. A minute of power play time for Air Academy out of the break here. And, uh, and then there's an additional probably 30 or 40 seconds after that before the first whistle will release Sullivan. And then who went in with him? I didn't see. Mitchell Willis. So Willis and Sullivan got into it there. And uh, it'll be the first whistle after, I want to say maybe a minute and a half into this period. And we will see them. 
So Mitchell Willis, he was just defending his goaltender there. No, it's, and you know what? I'll tell you what. From coaching, that is eighteen to two is the shot total. Eighteen to two. Wow. Um, Both those shots, I think, were on the power play. I think you were correct. Actually, they were inside of like fifteen seconds. Right, one of them, and then a face-off, and then right away that, that tip, tip yep. yep. Any which way, we digress. We'll get to hockey action here in a moment. They're just letting the pond freeze, and the zebras call the lions out to the frozen Serengeti. Serengeti here, and we're about ready for second period action. Steamboat will be headed left to right on the radio dial in this second stanza. 17 minutes on the clock, still waiting. So an awkward kind of thing that happened, right? A couple of years ago or a year or two ago, I don't remember when it was, um, the Hallis and Ice Arena switched for some reason, not sure why, switched the home and away benches. Doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, and then there were problems occasionally with teams that were vacating the ice right around the student section. And so now what has to happen here is you get Steamboat, which is to press box right, the home bench, but they come out of the left door onto the ice. So you have to always kind of hold off and one team comes out at a time. It's just kind of goofy. I don't know why they just don't have the home and away benches. It doesn't make a lot of sense. But I digress. Let's get, let's get to hockey action. Some of the Wranglers games, they force them to go through that door. <laughs> yeah. A little different there. Junior hockey. Junior hockey. Uh, we are set five on four action here for a minute. Air Academy on the man advantage as bodies fly right off the opening face off here in period number two. Don't look at the scoreboard and see one and think it's true because it's not. It's going to be taken by Grant McNamara. Sends one that's steered to the far corner and the ice is slippery as Jacob Revy goes down. That was awkward. That was. That was kind of weird. Uh, he must have just stepped on one of his toe laces or something. Happens a lot, at least to me, when I play goalie. Here comes a chance. Shot on goal. Kicked aside by Sumner. That's number three for Air Academy. All three on the power play. Here comes Geisbrecht now. We, oh, he just got buried into the boards by Beckett. And, man, I'll tell you what, he has been on the receiving end of a few really big checks here tonight. Yes, sir. Air Academy rips up the near side glass. And that will very nearly do it. Sent right back down by Colby Beckett. And he'll have a few words with Captain Aaron Ortiz, who had thrown a little bit of a late check. And Ortiz now comes up for the Cadets. And bodies fly around. I, you know what? I think that Steamo needs to get on the scoreboard again. LaPointe knocks a man to the ice. Five on five play. Puck comes free. It just is very dangerous when you don't. Uh, you know, score a couple goals, give yourself a little bit of breathing room. That's what happened with Liberty because we had the one nothing lead, and Liberty, not one of the best teams, but you start to instill confidence in these squads that haven't won a lot of games, and it can uh, it can build into something. And so I think Steamboat needs to score here in the next three minutes. That's a, that's a bold strategy, Vladen. Let's see if uh, they're going to try to execute that. Bold strategy, Cotton. <laughs> It's a bold cotton strategy. 15:37 uh, left here in second period action. One nothing, the lead for your sailors who are left to right on the radio dial. It's going to be Lapointe who is flanked by uh, Kelly and Kaminsky, Borgening and Yonka on the back end. In comes Luke Borgening. He sends one that hits off the partition and takes an awkward hop. Then the clearing attempt <laughs> goes right into Borgening's breezers there and. Nate Kelly is going to have to backtrack here. Sumner comes out to play this one. Sends it up to LaPointe. Kicks it back into his own end. And Borgening eventually ends up with it at his feet and kicks it to his skates. They'll try for the far side. Sailors, a little bit of a miscommunication there on the breakout attempt. Comes free. Air Academy still in this game. It's only one nothing lead for your Steamboat Sailors. And they're trying to pour the pressure on offensively and get some chances. They have not been... Uh, They've not been numerous for Air Academy, to say the least. Here comes Borgney now. Slides one out front. Shot. Huge save from Brebby. What a stop on Johnny Q, who is in the high slot all alone. Taken now by Kelly. Nate Kelly winds up. He'll toe drag around one man. Gets a poke check away from him. And here's Air Academy as the puck ends up going right at uh, Coach Metzi there. And he swats that one down. But, man, that was a very pristine opportunity 
Yes, it was. Luckily, uh, Grebby, or I don't even know another way to say that, uh, he had a good pad slide over there to Grebby to get his, <laughs> to get the leg pad on that. Here's the ensuing draw. One by Sullivan. He scores. Sean Sullivan with the beauty off the faceoff. He pushed it through the Air Academy sentiment's legs, steps around him, and rips one home. And they listen to me. They listen to you. They must have heard you say uh, score in the first three minutes here. The ears were burning. 14-29 left here in the second. And now it is a 2-0 lead for Steamboat. You'd have to think that may open up the floodgates a little bit because Steamboat has been knocking on the door for the better part of this game. As Gavin Gray is kicked out of the faceoff, in comes Geisbrecht, who continues to come out shift after shift here and work hard for Air Academy. Here's Sullivan now. Rips one upstairs, but flashing the leather is Jacob Grebe. That's pretty good, huh? That's pretty good. <laughs> Grebe with the stop. He hangs on. No rebound. And another faceoff here to the blocker side of the Air Academy goal. It's going to be bouncing around between the skates before finally Geisbrecht comes in and picks it up for the Cadets. Scooped back by David Thiel. Tried to get it in deep. Couldn't do it. Now it's going to be Kempers. He touches it to the near side corner and Griffin Maupi's in on the forecheck. Maupi takes a little bit of a wider angle. Gets to the puck first. Maupi walks out far side. He's got a man under the slot. That was Sullivan. Couldn't quite get the shot to go. But he does chase down the loose puck. It's going to be rimmed around the wall hard, but Beckett's there to keep it in. Now chasing down is McGuire yet again. He's bodied off, though. Comes over the stick in lumberjack fashion and got it from Moppy for a moment, but it's going to be sent out by Sullivan. That'll turn into a foot race here. No icing on the play. Sullivan was a man that sent it the length of the sheet here. And now Kempers takes a body there, and it looks as though Steamboat may be having their first opportunity at a power play. Interference yeah, called it's... against Geisbrecht. Well, he's been all over the place. Might as well be in the box, too. <laughs> Couldn't agree with you more. I don't know what happened there, because it looked as though Kempers was at the puck. Uh, it just kind of was right in that one soft area we can't really see. On the near boards. Near side boards. N near boards. Near boards. Far out. Here we go. 13-26. <laughs> and a power play with... 2-0 lead. Your Sailors now on a man advantage trying to extend that lead. And Colby Beckett is going to rip one on frame. Looks as though they're putting the big man right in front here on the power play. Normally a defender. It's going to be worked over near side to Nate Kelly. Kelly just cycles it down the wall. Finds Beckett. Tries to walk out. Runs into a man. Gets the puck still. Gives it back to Kelly on the near side half wall. Spins off pressure. Gets it up top to Borgerding. Has an open man. It's LaPointe. LaPointe now winds, and it's going to be sent on goal. What a stop from Greb. He didn't even know where it was, but kicked out the right pillow and made the save nonetheless. LaPointe again to Maupi. Back to LaPointe. Rips the shot high and wide. A good-looking play there, though, from your Sailors, and the power play right now is humming. It's worked to the far side. Top of the circle again to LaPointe. Finds Maupi. Back door to Kelly. Could have shot. Didn't. Now it's going to be boarding. Who has to chase down a loose puck. Keeps it in the zone, though. Saucers it over. Far side wall again to LaPointe. To Malpe. He goes to Nate Kelly. Near side circle. Up again to the top of the key there where it's Borgening. Over to LaPointe. One-timer. Big save from Grebby. And the puck oh, is that's loose. A goal. And right oh, across the goal it. line. Uh, I can't believe he was right there. You didn't see that. <laughs> it must have, uh, must have gone right along the goal line there. That was unbelievable. Here comes Nate Kelly now, an opportunity. He rips one. It handcuffs Krebby, but he's able to get enough of it to send it wide. Now it's Borgening at the top again. Sent over near side. There's Kelly. Winds, fires, big save, no rebound. We've got half a minute left on the power play, and it has been potent so far. Paul Rodden, Sam Dorant, and Mitchell Willis had their hands full with Colby Beckett down there in the slot. Both of those defenders are heading off for a change. They have to be tired. Steamboat is keeping their unit out here, which they've been out for a minute and a half now. It's going to be worked to the blue line. Borgening takes it there. Finds Kelly. No seam to pass through. He's just going to spin back up top. Finds Borgening. Now over to LaPointe, far side. Again to Borgening. Near circle now to Kelly. Kelly walks in. Doesn't have a lane to shoot. 
Now we'll cycle it low, finding Beckett, walks along the goal line, and he'll give it back to LaPointe. Quickly up top to Borgening, rips a shot, hit off bodies in front, and they'll say that it tipped off a defender, and so the faceoff stays in the offensive end. And now it's uh, Vincent Primavera's turn to deal with Kobe Beckett in the slot. Oh, he's finally going off the ice. They're going to get a little break. <laughs> Sean Yonka coming out to do the same job here. Just two seconds left though on the power play. LaPointe is trying to win this faceoff. Taking it step by Air Academy. And it's a two-on-two two the other way now. Three-on-two developing. And the man gets knocked off the puck. Couldn't even get the shot to go. Nice job from Borgerding. Playing his angles right. Now it's going to be worked by Geisbrecht. Sending it towards the blue line. And man gets thrown to the ice there. That was Garrett Johnson. And here now is Kelly. Ooh. Sends it to LaPointe. Offsides call, though, as LaPointe preceded the puck into the zone. Now yeah, LaPointe with a big hit there at the blue line to have a two-on-one opportunity just to be a little bit too quick in offsides. You know, puck has to go in first. That's what everyone says. I've heard that before. That's why I stick to pond hockey. There are no offsides. 11.03 left here, second period. 2 nothing score, Steamboat on top. Air Academy coming in the zone, near side. Big check again. Bodies are flying. I'll tell you what, Steamboat's picked up their physical play throughout the season. I mean, it's just been ramping up each and every game. Buck now sent in on frame, and Kenyon comes in, gives a little bit of a... Snow shower? Snow shower to the goaltender. I think uh, Mitchell Willis said a little bit of uh, something to him about, hey, don't do that to my goalie, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. It's not very nice. <laughs> We've got one of the Whartons here spilling water all over the fans. Oh, now it's going to drip down. <laughs> Set down the far side half wall. Fighting for it there is McNamara and Kempers. Yet again, an Air Academy player goes down to the ice. McNamara could have got called for a hook there as he got the hands of the KDEP player. No icing on the puck that sent the length of the sheet as it hit off of a steamboat defender. And once more, they try to turn it to offense, but a shot from the blue line goes wide from Air Academy. An opportunity coming from Mitchell Willis. And now it's going to be taken by Beckett. Tries to send it around to the far side. McNamara takes over, fires it up to Ripley. Couldn't quite wrangle that one in, and it's taken back by Air Academy. Saucer to the near side, over the stick there of Hakon Berke. <laughs> Look at that one. Berke? <laughs> 17. <laughs> it's going to be taken now by Kempers, and he's in the neutral zone. Back to his own blue line. Spins. Gets away from pressure. Kempers now making a little bit of offensive swagger and moves. Here's Ripley. Dances through one man and gets poke checked as he went to shoot. Now Beckett follows up. Shot on goal. Big save. Rebound stopped as well. Dakota Kenyon had the whole goal to shoot out of seam and he fired it right into the netminder's blocker. <laughs> That's the kind of game it's been for Steam, but a lot of chances and a lot of missed chances. <laughs> 9.14 to go and ticking down here in second period play. 2 nothing score, so they have capitalized twice. Sean Sullivan got uh, the latest one here in this period. He just got back onto the ice. It's going to be taken by Air Academy. This is Geisbrecht. He just sends one in deep near side corner to the Sailor's end. Rimmed around by Colby Beckett. To the blue line, no further. Kept in there by the Cadets. Bounces up off some sticks and hits the netting. And it will be a whistle, and the faceoff will stay in the steam mode end. Yeah, I was looking at that. Bjerk. Bjerk? Bjerke? Bjerk. Look at his first name. It has one of those things on top, but the computer didn't even know how to print that out. Hakon? Hakon? <laughs> oh, Hakon Bjerk? <laughs> They're really testing us. Uh, I'm telling you, man. This KDAT <laughs> roster is really testing our uh, vocabulary. Uh, linguistic skills yes indeed it's going to be taken now by Maltby outlet pass there finds Sullivan he's one on one Sullivan beats his man he's in he loses Ooh. his running are we going to see a penalty shot he's getting nope. the slash they're just giving him the slash well, he definitely deserves that one I'd say 
Trenton left. Chiga? Is that how you say his name? Yes. <laughs> Chiga headed to the box. Two minutes slashing. Uh, could have been a penalty shot almost. Almost. I would have given a penalty shot, but that's just me. Two-minute power play again for Steamboat. Their first one was real good. They had a unit out there that controlled play for all two minutes and had some golden chances. Different unit out now, though. The point's still there. Goes for the cross-ice pass. Couldn't connect with Thiel. So they got Thiel, Sullivan, LaPointe, Ripley, Kempers. and Kempers. Their academy was there for a moment with possession in Steamboat's end. Taken back, though, by Thiel. He outlets one, looking for LaPointe. Hits off his heel, had to back, slow down there. Now it's going to be taken by David Thiel again on his own blue line. Rips one up to Kempers. Bodied, but not off the puck. Gives it off now to Sullivan. Near side, Sean Sullivan trying to get free of a defender. Passes to point. He, uh, he missed the net and the glass and sent it uh, up to the net. I think he might have just broke the Zamboni. <laughs> I think he did hit the Zamboni. <laughs> Oh, we got some fans giving a good field goal on that one. <laughs> it won't count as three, unfortunately, though, for the Sailors. Faceoff's going to come outside the zone as he just found his eight iron on that one, sent it 150 yards, and it did not off, hit off any defenders. So it will be the draw that comes to the neutral zone. It's going to be won by Steamboat. Kempers takes over, rips one down the wall, and Nate Kelly is going to be the first one to the puck near corner. Wide open in the slot. Oh, here comes the Cadets. Kelly picks the puck up. Backdoor play there to Sullivan. Big save. And no rebound, but great look from Nate Kelly. Excellent side and side movement by Jakob Grebe. Grebe? Couldn't agree with more. <laughs> Left to right. And uh, he's had a couple really nice saves. At times he's looked a little bit... Uh, a little bit out of it, not knowing where he was on the ice. <laughs> but he's done quite well in keeping this a 2 nothing game. Shots Taylor's. have to be uh, well over 20 by now. Well, I'd say they were well over. Oh, my. Look at this little awkward hop. And, and a penalty. penalty coming up. Give him a penalty shot. Oh, interference. <laughs> it's all about that penalty shot. I want to see one. That would be fun. <laughs> it would be fun. I can't disagree with that. <laughs> So, great hustle there from Aaron Ortiz. And Borgening is forced to take that one. A little bit of an awkward hop there. Would never have been an issue there if uh, Patrick Sumner had been able to take it. I think it kind of just caromed off the boards a little bit strangely, so he didn't know where it was coming off. 7-16 left, though. Second period to play. 2-0 lead for Steamboat. 4-on-4 four four now for the next 43 seconds before Air Academy will get another abbreviated power play of the Rome. Beckett's going to take this behind his own net. DDD to Sullivan. Sullivan sends one. That'll be an icing. Oh, I think he forgot that it was even strength. Indeed he did. As he gets some words from uh, coaching staff, Sullivan's going to make his way to the bench now. Boy. You all right? I'm okay. My back, you know, just sitting here looking good. It really, right. here's really one, weighs on me. Here's one of them offensive zone face-offs, and they won it. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> Backhander set towards Ooh. the ball. Big save from Sumner. Rebounds That's tucked in. Ortiz. Aaron Ortiz with the backhander. Sumner made a great initial save as it was bouncing around. He kicked out the left pillow. But Ortiz follows up, and he gets the backhander to go. He just slid it. Slid it low, and uh, the captain here for Air Academy makes it a 2-1 game. Are you sure you're saying that right? Is it Aaron or A.A. Ron? You're right. I'm sorry. A.A. Ron. My bad. Ortiz, for sure, probably. Or is it O. Roots? <laughs> <laughs> like the cracker. <laughs> oh, Ritz? <laughs> 2-1 score here, so... It's like the referees are Borgen's sorting out the penalties. No, Borgen's that was not even done. strength. Yeah, that's an even strength goal, so yeah. that penalty's not up. 
Why is Beckett headed to the box now? I don't know what's going on. I'm a little perplexed here. Hopefully we'll get this sorted out. I'm fairly certain Borgadine should still be in the box. And what if, is going on? If Beckett has an additional penalty, that would give the Cadets a power play. Yeah, right? you're, you're absolutely right. Yeah, uh, you got me a chocolate shake? Yeah. <laughs> Brandon Martin keeping the two teams uh, away from each other there at center ice. Morganing should be in the box right now. <laughs> Uh, can Vlad, you want to go over there and tell them uh, what's going on? <laughs> what is going on right now? They're doing it wrong. <laughs> this is absolutely this is, wrong. That's, that's absolutely botched by the referees. I'm very disappointed in that. That was... The the K that should have a power play right now and they do not. That yeah. So here's G Mac. He gets leveled there in the slot. It'll be flipped up by Ortiz. He's gonna try and turn the Jets on. Kemper's forced to backtrack to his own zone. And he'll take it on the near side. Fires a pass up to McNamara. Quickly to Kaminsky. Kaminsky tried to get through and free but couldn't. And now it is a power play for 90 seconds. I'm I'm pretty disappointed and in that. There's a penalty behind the play. High sticking. And guess who was involved? Geisbrick took the stick to the head. <laughs> really? He <It> sure did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Borderdine got his stick up on uh, Geisbrick behind the play. Which is odd, too, because the, the linesman just called that penalty. And he can't do He that. can't do that either. <laughs> I'm very confused as to why. Oh, my. So the linesman just called a high sticking penalty. The only penalty they can call, if I'm not mistaken, is, is too many, too many men. men. Not high sticking. <laughs> I'm so confused. I, unless he thought player safety was involved, we'll, we'll have to talk to a referee on <laughs> so on that. Six twenty, which is easy to do. Monica would probably say it's easy to do. It's easy to, <laughs> to do. confuse you, man. <laughs> so any, anyways, out of it all, it's five on three now. It's going to be worked by Geisbrecht, far side, top of the circle, rips a shot. High sticking call will come when McNamara touches the puck, he does. You know what that was, Vaughn? That's what they call a, a makeup call. I would say, you know, if it was, it was still wrong, but I mean, I guess it makes sense. <laughs> Trying to make up for that botched <sighs> penalty on Burgardine on the even strength goal. <laughs> I don't even know. So we got Sullivan, Griffin Maltby, and Matt Kempers. Two to one lead for Steamboat and mass confusion here at the press box. And <laughs> on the bench as well. <laughs> so, Late changes? That that actually is a thing. Okay. They, they get a okay. certain amount of time. It's not like an, obviously you can't ice it, but you only get a X amount of time. So here's Kempers. He's ripping it down the length of the sheet. G Mac did an excellent job of winning the defensive oh, zone face off. He did. <laughs> you missed it though. Yeah, Debbie dropped, dropped his stick, stick. <laughs> trying to play that puck. Air Academy outlet pass to the near side. It gets to his man. It's Garrett Johnson chasing this one down. Johnson spins, trying to get away from Malpy. Turns into possession for Kempers, who sends it down the length of the sheet. On that. Imagine if that went in. It would. Uh, I think that'd go right along with the storyline for the day. 5.30 left here, and hits off Sullivan, almost turns into a chance for Sean Sullivan at 5-on-3. Seamoat is down by two men right now, but and they've had the best chance so far. Off of uh, Sullivan's hip. 5.30 left in the period. Another 30 seconds of two-man advantage and an additional minute and eight. Well, not an additional minute eight, but an additional 38 seconds after that of five on four, I suppose. Still a power play for him. Air Academy gets it in deep. They're going to wait to touch up. They do. It'll be taken by Kempers in the meantime. He'll rip one down for the third time. This Oh, is. Grebe uh, misplayed that again. wonder if he's feeling okay over I there. I think his stick is broken. It's going to be taken now by Sullivan. He just gets it back to Kempers. 
fired up again, and there is the first penalty that's killed as Beckett is back onto the ice. Long pass there. Hits off the skate of the Air Academy player. Beckett chases it down. Nice little spin to avoid a check. Worked up, but not out. Good hold at the line there from Primavera. And power play for 19 more seconds. Up to Primavera. Sends one towards the goal. Off the inside of the post and stays out. Wow, that puck had eyes right there, but Sumner gets lucky, and his best friend makes a save. It's going to be kept in by Air Academy as Ortiz chases this one down. Puck, though, sent the length of the sheet, and we are at 5-on-5 five five now with 4.19 to go. Sullivan, first man to the puck. He's going to send it out. He finds LaPointe, gets away from him, though. And here's Air Academy, Primavera leading the charge. Five on two developing for the boys in blue. Primavera sends one towards the goal, and it'll be stopped by Sumner, and it looks as though the net has come off its moorings here. I don't think uh, that we have more into it, I, Howellis and Ice Arena. Those are just pins. We do today. <laughs> <laughs> My fault. It's okay. We'll forgive you today. We should get some moorings, though. <laughs> Would be nice, right? Right. 4.03 to go, and the face-off in the offensive end for Air Academy. Is another win for Steamboat. Look at that. They're disproving my theory. Dakota Kenyon now going to chase this puck down. No icing on the play. And Kenyon looks out, tries to find his man. It's Theo, and it's still free. A chance. Ripley in there as well. And a shot tipped by Ripley, and it goes just wide as Gerby may, may have made a save on that as well. Three and a half to go in the period. 2-1 lead for Steamboat in a game that sh should not be as close as it is right now. Not, nothing against Eric. Oh, my Ooh. gosh. Sean Yonka. Hey, you yes, never guessed was. who it was. Dicebrick in on the play again. <laughs> He's headed to the bench. Here's Dakota Kenyon. Shoots one in that's steered up and just wide. Air Academy fighting for it, but it's taken here by Steamboat. Sent to the goal now. There's Kenyon fighting for it. And I do have to give Air Academy a lot of credit because their back post play has been phenomenal today. There's been a few chances where Steamboat has almost gotten free, but that last defender has done an excellent job of not allowing that. Have to give uh, Dakota Kenyon some, some props for his uh, forechecking on that rush. Absolutely. I'm taking nothing away from the Steamboat Sailors. <laughs> It's going to be worked. The length of the sheet chasing this one down is Darant. And Darant will take it behind his own goal to the far side. And he tries to give a pass up the slot. Always dangerous. Now it's Borgening. Tries to send it to Kelly. Couldn't do it. Now LaPointe at the blue line. Keeps this one in with 2.25 to go. In the second period, LaPointe just wheels behind the goal. Takes down near side. Back post play. Stopped short. Good D again from Air Academy. And here come the Cadets. But good little pocket pick in there from LaPointe. Back get away with the man with him. Here's LaPointe. Dangles in to the backhand. And he missed the net as he just ran out of real estate. I think we need to call the police in on that uh, theft we just saw. That was some highway robbery. LaPointe stealing the puck from behind with good back check. LaPointe again. Chance shot just wide of the goal frame. LaPointe gives it right, gets it right back, sorry. Behind the goalie goes to Gretzky's office. Comes out near side, tries to find a man in front, can't do it. Now it's Kelly. He couldn't pull the trigger, gets a second oh. chance, he scores. Nate Kelly rips one home with a minute and 37 seconds left. And you could hear the sigh of relief breathed by the hometown fans here that have made their way to the Howie Dome. 3-1 lead now and a late period goal, which always is beneficial. Yeah, that goal was made possible by the hard back check of David LaPointe picking somebody's pocket. Absolutely, started the whole thing off. And then again, the good floor check, which has been kind of the case for Steamboat throughout the, throughout the evening. Face off now is going to be taken by Sullivan Flink, by Griffin Malby and David Thiel. Kempers and Beckett are the defenders here. John Sullivan now, nice little play there, gets the puck. He's got a man, it's Malpy, passes behind him though. Griffin Malpy turns, trying to find the loose puck, he gets free. Air Academy is the other way, three on one developing. This is going to be Geisbrecht, fires one up high, stopped there by Sumner. Rebound sent to the high slot and cleared into the neutral zone off of a defender's stick. 
It'll be taken back by Air Academy. Ripped down, hits off Kemper, so no icing. He'll chase it down behind the goal. Goes D to D to Beckett. Near side, Beckett fires off the wall, finds Griffin Moppy. He'll streak out and finds the blue line onside play. Hits off the defender's skate, comes to the neutral zone. As a lucky little play there for Air Academy. Kempers takes it back, though. Fires it in. It's going to be taken behind the net by defender there. Nice forecheck, though. Griffin Malpe able to chase this one down. He gets hooked. No call. And David Thiel will chase the loose puck down on the near side wall. Half a minute to go in the period. 3-1 lead for Steamboat. Bodies flying. Now it's going to be taken by Solomon. He walks out far side at the hash marks. Going to try and spin. Gets away from pressure. What a play. Sullivan rips one. Stopped. Rebound. Hit off of the back there of Grebby and somehow stays out. Chance for Beckett now. He rips a slap shot. That's going to be blocked down before it gets to the goal. Ten seconds on the clock, and Air Academy's had enough. They'll send one that goes on frame, so no icing on the play. Three seconds left here in the period, and with that, we found the horn. Three to one the lead for your Steamboat Sailors. After 34 minutes of play, hasn't exactly been something to write home for if you're a Steamboat fan, but they are in the lead by two goals with the latest one being uh, Nate Kelly's strike in the late stages. For Andrew Bilski on Blood and Chase back with the third and final frame after this. Uh, Nate Kelly's strike in the late stages. For Andrew Bilski on Blood and Chase back with the third and final frame after this. The Steamboat Sailors are on the air. You are listening to Steamboat Sailors Hockey on 989. Sponsored by Dobbs Auto Clinic, Tampa Valley Bank, Alpine Lumber, Mountain View Car Wash, Steamboat Dental Center, and Chris Bucket with Amber Jones. Get on SteamboatRadio.com and watch the game live. And check out the complete schedule while you're there. Is also brought to you by Steamboat Ace Hardware. All State Insurance, the Allison Agency. UC Health Yampa Valley Medical Center. Russell's Auto Salon. And Steamboat Resorts by Wyndham Vacation Rentals. Remember, our sponsors support the sailors, so please support our sponsors. You're listening to Steamboat Sailors Hockey. Only on Sports on FM. This is 98.9 KTYV. Steamboat Spring. And SteamboatRadio.com. This is Skip Deardorff from Alpine Lumber here in Steamboat Springs. Alpine Lumber is a Colorado company and is committed to being the best supplier of materials and related services to the professional builder and homeowner throughout the Yampa Valley. Offering lumber and building materials, hardware, paints, and stains. And we're proud to support Sailor's Ice Hockey. Easy to find Alpine Lumber, located on Pine Grove Road, past Walgreens. Alpine Lumber, employee owned and operated, the contractor's choice, the homeowner's right. Hey, Sailor Hockey fans, PJ Wharton of Yampa Valley Bank here to thank you for supporting our hometown hockey team. Yampa Valley Bank is proud to support all of our Steamboat student athletes and to sponsor this broadcast of Steamboat Sailors Hockey on KTYV, Sports on FM and 98.9. Steamboat High School Athletics are an example of our genuine hometown, Yampa Valley Bank, genuine hometown banking. Enjoy the game, and let's go, Sailors! Hi, this is Doc from Doc's Auto Clinic. When your car isn't feeling well, head over to Doc's for above and beyond customer satisfaction and the most expert service around. The techs at Doc's are ASD certified and go the extra mile to give you the peace of mind you need to know your vehicle is safe. We take care of you and your family by taking care of your car. We are located just past Moose on the west end of town off of Elk River Road. Doc's Auto Clinic, proud to support the steam Boat sailors. It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. Hi, I'm Tate Doris. I'm a sophomore in high school. My number is 12. I play right wing. I've been playing hockey for about 10 years. Other sports I like are lacrosse and badminton. I'd like to go to college at CSU or DU because they both are pretty close to home and they're pretty good for engineering. I do not think I'll play hockey in college. I think I'll mostly focus on school and getting a good job after that. In 10 years, I see myself owning a business, having a good family, and living the life. 
Outside of school, I am involved in working and also hanging out with my friends. I work at Salt and Lime. My favorite subject in school is chemistry because I have some of my friends in that class and we do a lot of more experiments than just writing. My favorite movie is Cool Runnings because it's a really fun movie and it has a good like overall humor. Last summer, I worked a lot at Salt and Lime. I hung out with my friends. I went to King Solomon and I also went to Amigos concert. My goals for this season are to improve a lot, get a good run in the playoffs, and have fun. My goals for life are to get a good job, make money. What I remember most about being a sailor is the team dinners and just all the team bonds we have. I'm Tate Doris. I'm a sophomore in high school, and I'm proud to be a sailor. You just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. Small emergencies, scrapes, sprains, and stitches, they're bound to happen. You deserve quick care from trusted physicians. At UC Health Yampa Valley Medical Center, our emergency care team is here for you and your loved ones. The board-certified physicians at YBMC are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week, to get you in and out the door quickly. You'll experience the same safe and high-quality care you've come to expect at YBMC. Now with smaller prices for life's small emergencies. Yampa Valley Medical Center, now part of the UC Health Family. Hi, I'm Joanna Allison with Allstate. My husband, Brett, and I are excited to bring Allstate Insurance to the Yampa Valley. We are so fortunate to live in this amazing place and want to help you protect all that's good in your life. Brett and I are here to provide local insurance advice and help customize an insurance plan that meets your needs. Stop by the Allison Allstate Agency in Steamboat on 5th Street, right across from Mahogany Ridge for a free quote. Or Google us at Allstate Steamboat. We are a proud supporter of the Steamboat Sailors. I'm Terry. And this is Phil from Russell's Auto Salon. If you need help with your auto collision repair, we make it easy. Just bring me an email and a claim number, and I'll take care of the rest. Russell's Auto Salon, Colorado's premier collision center, leading the industry and technology where we've gone green with Enviro-based paint. Russell's Auto Salon, where we always meet by accident. 879-1515. Russell's Auto Salon. 879-1515. Russell's Auto Salon, where we always meet by accident. It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your steamboat sailors. I'm Zach Walsh, and I'm a junior in high school. I'm number 22, and I play right wing. This is my second year playing on the high school team, and I also play varsity golf. I'd like to go to college at CU because it seems like a good college. I will not play any sports in college. I'll just be getting a engineering degree. Where do I see myself in 10 years? Being a mechanical engineer. Outside of school, I'm also involved in working and golfing, of course. My favorite subject in school is physics, and my my favorite movie is American Sniper because war movies are sick. I worked last summer painting houses around Steamboat, and that was fun. My goals for this season are to make it to playoffs and pretty much just do good in the season overall. My goals in life are to be an engineer. What I remember most about being a sailor is the bus rides with the boys. I am Zach Walsh, and I'm a junior, and I'm proud to be a sailor. You just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. Steamboat 8 is your go-to place for everything you need for your home. Bridget here from Steamboat 8, and we aren't just painting our tools. Ace has a great pet section to keep your furry friend happy and healthy. A fun toy section stocked with items for all ages to make the perfect gift. Beautiful housewares, cookware, candles, and more to decorate and add beautiful styles to your table. Stop into Steamboat 8, proud to support your Steamboat sailors, and see all that we have for your home. Steamboat 8, the help of all your home needs place. Hey, Sailor Hockey fans, P.J. Wharton of Yampa Valley Bank here to thank you for supporting our hometown hockey team. Yampa Valley Bank is proud to support all of our Steamboat student-athletes and sponsor this broadcast of Steamboat Sailors Hockey on KTYB Sports on FM at 98.9. Steamboat High School Athletics are an example of our genuine hometown, Yampa Valley Bank, genuine hometown banking. Enjoy the game, and let's go, Sailors! 
Sports-related dental injuries account for more than 600,000 ER visits each year. If your child is playing a sport and not wearing a mouth guard, they are 60 times more likely to suffer harm to their teeth. Steamboat Dental Center offers custom-fit mouth guards made from an exact model of your child's teeth. They are effective, comfortable, easy to clean, and also cheaper than a visit to the ER. Call Steamboat Dental Center today and receive half off a custom mouth guard. SteamboatDentalCenter.com. Go Sailors! It's time for the Sailor Spotlight. A chance to learn more about your Steamboat Sailors. Hi, I'm Tanner Ripley. I'm a sophomore. I'm number four. I am a center. This is my 11th year playing hockey. I also play baseball. I'd like to go to college at CSU, Wyoming State, or Texas A&M. I don't think I'll be playing in college. I probably won't get a scholarship. In 10 years, I see myself with a job working with something with animals. I also see myself with a nice family. Outside of school, I'm not involved too much just chilling with the boys my favorite subject in school right now is shop because i get to have all that free time and i get to express what i like to do and what i like to build my favorite movie probably has to be lonesome dove because it's one of my favorite old, old western movies last summer i took a rafting trip and i just chilled with the boys mostly my favorite memory was the rafting trip because we got to jump off cliffs and i got to hang with a bunch of Germans. My goals for the season are to be one of the best players on hard workers and I'd like to get over 10 points this year. What I will remember most about being a sailor is probably all the locker room and hanging out with the boys and what it was like to play for the school at home. I'm Tanner, I'm a sophomore, and I'm proud to be a sailor. You've just heard the Sailor Spotlight on Fox Sports 98.9. The team of Mountain View Car Wash and Detailing Professionals is proud to be supporting Sailor Sports this season. Whether a basic wash or a full detail, we know that the key to providing you with excellent service is teamwork and attention to detail. So while the Sailors are focusing on cleaning up the competition this season, we'll be focusing on cleaning up your vehicle. With affordable washes and a wide variety of detail services, we have the game plan to fit your budget needs. We are located at the corner of Highway 40 and Trafalgar Drive. Mountain View Car Wash, where you won't get a penalty for having a dirty car. Financial investments are very important, but so are the investments of time, patience, and encouragement our young athletes receive from their coaches, teachers, and mentors. I'm Chris Puckett, your Steamboat Springs Edward Jones Financial Advisor. Now's the time to make investments that can help provide money for the ever-rising cost of college. There's more than one strategy to save for college. Please come in to discuss your options. For a free college cost analysis, call Chris Puckett at 879-1851 or stop by his office at 941 Lincoln Avenue. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Member SIPC. Steamboat Resort the proud sponsor of Sailor Athletics. Do you have friends or family coming to town but space at your place is a little yeah, tight? Well. Steamboat Resorts by Wyndham Vacation Rentals is here to help. Steamboat Resorts has been the I'll Hanjik leader here too, for over but... 30 years and we've got great rates at <laughs> more than 800 units in 38 properties around the base area. Call us at 879-8000 and ask for the Locals Connection discount. That's the Locals Connection, 879-8000 or visit SteamboatResorts.com. Sports on FM. This is 98.9 KTYV. Steamboat Springs. Don't move. The face-off is just moments away. Now we join the call of Steamboat Sailors right, Hockey so on 98.9. Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. We are here from the Howie Go. Steamboat Sailors. Have a 3-1 lead right now over the visiting Air Academy Cadets. Um, joined by <laughs> joined by Andrew Bilski. I, I didn't realize that's how it looked. I mean, it doesn't look like I'm wearing anything except for just like this, you know, the microphone piece. Uh, for those of you who can't see what we're talking about, Rodden is dressed in a spectacularly looking uh, hat. And it uh, looks like his head is very warm, as well as his ears it and is. face. My, my, whole, my whole upper region, neck up, is pretty toasty right now. It uh, reminds me of uh, Dan Aykroyd and Chevy Chase in uh, Spies Like Us. <laughs> the classic. It's, 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 it's classic. It's classic. 
I mean, I even got stuff that can, like, distract me if I get bored. If you have a white coat on, I swear you were in the movie. <laughs> I want to thank a few of our sponsors before we get going with the third period of play. Doc's Auto Clinic taking care of you by taking care of your car. Yampa Valley Bank, Yampa Valley's only locally owned bank, member FDIC. Alpine Lumber, employee owned and operated, the contractor's choice and the homeowner's friend. Steamboat Dental Center, dentistry designed for you. Visit Dr. Witty and the team or check them out online at SteamboatDentalCenter.com. Also, Russell's Auto Salon, your premier full-service auto body shop where you always meet by accident. Call Russell's at 879-1851. Don't forget about Chris Puckett at the downtown Edward Jones office. Call Chris Puckett for all your investment needs. Edward Jones making sense of investing. Member SIPC. As well as UC Healthy Ampa Valley Medical Center. Steamboat Ace Hardware. Uh, Steamboat Resorts by Wyndham Vacation Rentals. All proud supporters of Sailors Athletics. You good? <laughs> so I'm joined by Andrew Bilski, as you know. Um, Blood and Chase, this is Steamboat Sailors Hockey right here on KTYV 98.9 Sports on FM. Also online at SteamboatRadio.com. 34 minutes in the books, Andrew. What are your thoughts? My thoughts are uh, shots are heavily in favor of uh, Steamboat Springs. I think we heard 38 to 8. Yes. Is that, that what we heard? Uh, if they keep uh, their aggressive play in the slot, I think they will get a couple more goals. Definitely hoping so because it had a feeling there in the second. It was 2 uh, nothing after a goal early from Sean Sullivan. And then all of a sudden, uh, Ortiz gets a, a goal for Air Academy on kind of a, just a broken play. And uh, 2 1, and it kind of started to feel like, uh oh, you know, this could be another one of those trap games where you can't get out of your own head if you're in Steamboat Sailor. But they turned it around to get a late goal. I think that's going to be pretty beneficial for them down the stretch. I agree. Um, that uh, KDAC goal is straight up good hustle from Aaron Ortiz. Oritz, Oritz with the big one there for. Uh, for the mythological birds. 3-1 score, though, at the end of 34 minutes of play, as we said, as the officials starting to come out here to retake the ice surface. We'll have the game starting. And uh, <laughs> some interesting officiating. <laughs> Can't help but wonder. Uh, maybe uh, we can get some comments after the game about the calls. Oh, I got one. So they called him for interference. They called Beckett for interference. No, nope. and then Borgerding on that one where Travis called it. Okay. So how is he allowed to do that? I don't know. You didn't you didn't answer any of the good questions. No. I just got more. <laughs> I'm like, wait, <laughs> you just answered my question with another question. I don't know if you saw the new Star Wars movie, but they left me with a lot of questions. Indeed, indeed. Like, what are they going to do for the ninth one, you know? Hopefully they make uh, make it a little bit faster paced than this last one, eh? Well, yeah, maybe they'll put some uh, officials in there making some odd calls that really confuse people. <laughs> some space <laughs> officials. <laughs> some space zebras. It's going to be great. We've got uh, Jakub Grede coming back onto the ice here. I really want to think that's his name, but... Uh, being that I'm also, you know, one of those folks with a unique name, I know how often it's Americanized now. So it's probably just Jacob Grebe. Or Grebe. Jacob Grebe. Yeah. You know I mean, you know, a little heartbreaking to think of that, but. Yeah, I mean, uh, we haven't called some of these other names on the KDET roster. Kanais, Arthur Kanais. 22. Oh, nice. Nice or Knies? I mean, I'd say nice, but then Stol 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 Stoltenberg. Nice. That's the backup goalie That's today. The backup goalie. Um, Katie Cooley actually played last time these two teams met. Uh huh. And she was pretty solid. She, I mean, it was, it's tough because it was a 9 2 game. Yeah. But it was definitely not indicative of the way she played. She had some really big saves, so. Anyways, we're just about ready for this uh, last last period of action here. Uh, let's do that hockey. 
How you gonna do that? Happy Steamboat man. is right to left on the radio dial here in the third and final period of play. Bucks worked up near side. Air Academy trying to jump on it early. They're going to need an early goal if they want to stay in this game. Your Sailors looking to put them out of it with an early goal of their own. Here's Dakota Kenyon. Not able to get it out of his zone on a first try. Second effort from Kempers does. And Air Academy will rip it up in the near side wall. Bounces around and comes free to the stick of Grant McNamara. Finds Beckett behind his own goal. Takes it out far side. Goes to Kenyon. Kenyon now will just wheel behind his own net. Has some lanes. Fires a pass that was nearly picked off. Follows up, though. Three on two developing, potentially. Dakota Kenyon has to chase this loose puck down, though. Fires one in on goal. And the rebound scooped to the near side corner by Air Academy. And it'll be flipped out to the neutral zone. Beckett now fires it right back in for Steamboat. It's going to be knocked short by Mitchell Willis. Willis now looking up ice. Finds a man. And that was Geisbrecht just getting back at uh, someone on the bench there, tipping it into the Sailors' bench. I think that was Borgating who took the brunt of that one in his face. Yeah, good thing he's wearing a cage, or he uh, would have a black eye probably. So just underway here, a minute and nine seconds into this one. Three to one score, two on one developing. Here's the point. He winds and fires. That is high and wide for David Lapointe. On a two-on-one. It's going to be LaPointe now. Knocks the man over. Tries to body a second one off the puck. Comes up with it. Sends it out front. Chance. Big save. Rebound is loose. And it is stopped as well as LaPointe came out on the far side and was able to get an opportunity there. Kaminsky, the initial shooter from the slot again, stopped short. But, uh, you know, Grubby's having a pretty good game. Yeah, with 40 shots now. 40 shots on goal starting the third period. He's been busy. Now a pass to the far side. Kaminsky's going to take it. Cycles it low. Finds Nate Kelly. He tries to get free. Far side in the circle. Gets it over to LaPointe. Watch. Fires and scores. What a shot there. And just a good looking play overall. David LaPointe going top cheese. Looking sharp with it too. And that is a nice feed from Nate Kelly. Some sharp cheese. <laughs> Uh, yeah, too bad uh, Grebe couldn't uh, get side to side fast enough for that one. There's only a certain point. That was a quick shot. That is how you do it one timer, I think. Let's do that hockey. That's how he's going to do that hockey right there. <laughs> With the t top cheddar. Top cheddar. So that one comes with 14.52 remaining here in the game. Four to one lead now for Steamboat as Air Academy takes this puck and will scoop it out of their own end. Chased down by Borgening in his own zone and he will just wheel behind the goal. Comes out on the near side. Fires one up off the wall. Hit off of a four-checking player. Comes back to Sean Yonka. Yonka tries for the far side. Feel is there and he is going to just body a man off. Nice little breakout. Malpy found Sullivan at the red line. Sullivan picking up ahead of steam. Rips one. Blocker to side relatively easily by Rebby. One of the easier shots of the game probably. As he didn't even have any traffic in front of him. Rare occasion there. That's a change for him. There's Griffin Malpy throwing the body around. Here's Yonka from the blue line. Shoots. That one stopped as well with the left pillow. It's Grebby not getting help from the defense. They cannot clear the zone. Here's Sailor still with it. This is going to be Borgening. Comes around near side. Little shake and bake play. Fires it up to the blue line. Finds Yonka. He's free. Into the slot. Shoots one that's shouldered off there by Grebby. Good job fighting it off. But Borgening takes over and the Sailors are still in the offensive end here. Extended zone time following that goal from LaPointe. David Thiel is going to chase down this loose puck. In there with support from Sullivan. Sullivan picks it up. Walks out off the goal line. Tucks a backhander. I think it was kicked out there by Grebby. Had some help from the post as well. The fans here that have made their way up from Air Academy not too happy with uh, what they're seeing right now. Steamboat all over the Cadets. Here's a chance for Borgney. He scores. Luke Borgney makes this a 5-1 game, and that is exactly how Steamboat wanted to come out and play this third period. I mean, it took him over 40 shots to tire this goalie out, but... I'd have to say that's the problem now. He's got to be tired facing all these shots. 
just and, letting him in now. And there's just, uh, there was no stop there. That was about a minute and 40 seconds of consistent offensive zone time. Air Academy was, on numerous times, unable to clear the zone, and it translates into another steamboat goal. It's going to be fired up by the Cadets once again. Here comes Ortiz. He's got the only goal so far for Air Academy. 5-1 lead now for Steamboat. The right to left here on 98-9. In comes Kenyon. He rips a shot. That one high and wide. Chased down by Beckett, who pinches in from the blue line. Sends it behind the goal. Dakota Kenyon takes over there. He's going to look out front. Couldn't get it to Beckett as he was looking for him. Now it's going to be Ripley keeping it at the blue line himself. And so all three lines right now doing the same thing. They're getting offensive time. And really, they're just not even allowing Air Academy to get out with any ease. Nah, they are hanging out right there in that offensive zone. This time it's Ripley once more trying to keep this one in the zone. Has help from Kempers who steps up, plays a little FIFA with it, and keeps it in once again. Now it's going to be work to the near side, and Colby Beckett had to get away from him, but McNamara is there. And the pressure continues for Steamboat. Now Beckett has to get back to his own zone. Goes D to D, finds Kempers. Kempers looks up, gets Kenyon on the pass, who's in, makes one move, and then gets poke check. And here comes Geisbrecht. Oh. Geisbrecht on a breakaway here for Air Academy. He's in, he shoots. Big save from Sumner, who squeezes the pillow shut. Geisbrecht was looking for the five hole there, but nothing doing. Nice job from Patrick Sumner, who I think that was his first shot of the third period. That Geisbrecht's been all over the ice tonight. He's one of the bright spots here for Air Academy in what has otherwise been a very tough game for him. In now comes Garrett Johnson. And Gavin Garrett oh. Johnson not able to come up with it. Here comes LaPointe one-on-one. -on -one. Makes the move. He's all alone. Breakaway. Oh, LaPointe. Uh -huh. Ilya Koval chucked himself. Lost the puck there as he was all alone. One-on-0 -on with the goalie. Defender lost his stick trying to stop that one. Now it's kept in for a moment. Johnny Q there fighting for it. Borgering takes the puck at the red line, far side, just in front of the penalty benches. Penalty benches? Penalty boxes and the benches. So I was combining it. Oh, I see. Because I just have so little time to talk. <laughs> Another save. Another save. Dude, there's, penalty, there's benches in the penalty box, okay? okay? Clearly, I was talking about that. A very specific area. Right. Oh, I see. In the penalty benches. In the pen penalty benches? <laughs> I see now. I see. What are you doing in the penalty box? Oh, you know, just uh, hang out and... Uh, feel shame. Feel shame. For two minutes and then you're out. You're then free. You know. <laughs> <laughs> then you get free. Shot from Griffin. Moppy off the ensuing draw. No good. 5-1 remains your score. Steamo with two early goals here in the third period. To push us out to a four-goal lead. Now it's Borgening. He's going to just stop on the far corner. Comes out in front of his own goal. Luke Borgening heads up late here. Gets around one man who was looking to line him up. Air Academy, though, takes it back, and they're coming the other way. This is going to be Mitchell Willis. Offsides. This is hard. Offsides play. Comes back to neutral zone. Don't feel a lot of shame on that because you're not sitting in the box thinking about it. But you feel a little bit. A little bit, though. Just for a second. Till that puck is down. And, and play it's resumes. down. And, hey, there you go. Shame is done. <laughs> Here now is Borgening. 10-13 to go. Long pass from Borgening. Finds Thiel. And Thiel is going to be one on three here. Bumped into the boards. And loses the puck. Comes out to the neutral zone. All the way back to the steamboat end. And Theo gets it once more. Nice pass from Borgening. Goes to his backhand side. Cuts in. Tries to send it out front. Couldn't find Sullivan. Comes free, and it's going to be pushed up by Geisbrecht. And he tries to get around the last defender. Nice job, though, from Maltby. He also had a little bit of help from Borgening, who was tying up Geisbrecht as he tried to get free. Now in comes Griffin Maltby. Finds Sullivan. Sullivan trying to just get away from pressure. Knocked off the puck, not before he got it over to Yonka. Rips a shot, big save, and Grevy hangs on. Uh, he had a few seconds there to line up his shot and unfortunately got it right into his chest. It was a fast chest, though, I'm not going to lie. Fastest chest in the league. It was a good save. All right, here we go with the faceoff. 
Tanner Ripley for the Sailors. Wins it over to Beckett. Beckett with a quick shot. Blocked by, by uh, Gavin Gray. And here we go. We got Geisberg heading down the other direction. Get the pass off into the slot. So, Steamboat takes over in their own zone. This is Beckett with 9.13 to go. We're taken down in the game. We're close to the end in the beginning now. Ripley rides his man hard on the boards. It's going to be Steamboat with possession in the offensive end. Ripley dodges a check there from the same man he just drove in. That's Trenton Chiga. And now it comes free to McNamara. Up top to Kempers. Wide open at the blue line. He snipes it. Matthew Kempers with an absolute laser beam. He is at about the top of the circles on the far side. And he had all day there. I think every player for Air Academy was below the hash marks. Yeah, he saw, he thought, I've seen uh, I've seen David LaPointe score in that area. I better just uh, put the puck in the same spot, and he scores. Six to one now here for the Sailors. And off the ensuing draw, here's Kenyon. He can't get by the defense. Gets poke checked. And it'll be taken in now by Kempers. Matt Kempers, the goal scorer, trying to send one out front, feeling a little bit more confident in his offense. Has a little more swagger. And it will be sent the length of the sheet the other way. As Air Academy ices this, it'll come back 200 feet. 200 feet all the way? Yes. Just checking. The official took a long way. Like he took a couple extra turns. Yeah, so... It was because he's like, well, I'm going to lose some space. You know, obviously I'm not going to take the face off at the end wall. Oh, okay. So I better make up for the 200 feet. Oh, I see now. So that's what happened, yeah, yeah. Work to the far side. Borgening takes it there. And he's able to hold the zone for at least a moment. Second and third effort from Air Academy. Still unsuccessful to clear. Finally they do. And Yonka takes over at the red line. Sends one up to Kelly. Kelly is into the zone, but it was preceded by Kaminsky, who was trying to get back out and touch up. Unable to do so before Nate brings the puck in. And so this faceoff comes all the way back to the Steamboat Blue Line. 8.18 almost to the Steamboat Blue Line. 8.18 to go. <laughs> Why are you being so specific all of a sudden? I don't know. I, I just I don't know. 6-1 to one the lead. Off the draw. I don't know if that was shot on goal or if it was just won so cleanly by LaPointe. It came in on uh, Patrick Sumner, but either which way, he sends it to the near corner. Ends up in the far side where Borgening tries to push it up the wall. And he forgot the puck initially. Now he takes over. Luke Borgening trying to turn the Jets on. Sends one in on frame from the red line. Steered behind the goal by Grebby. And now to the near side it comes. Puck's bouncing around. Good forecheck by Johnny Q. Has help there from the point. Now it's Yonka. Couldn't get the Ooh. shot to go, though. Oh, we got a two-on-one foreman here. And an opportunity, but it's by the wayside. As that was Newhouse who just kind of lost it. He was a little too excited to have such a great chance. Now here comes Nate Kelly. He's poke-checked from behind by Ortiz. And it turns into a possession for LaPointe. Nice little toe drag there. LaPointe gets free. He's coming in with Kelly with him. And he finds Nate Kelly. Rips a shot looking for the short side. Couldn't get it to a fall, though. And it's going to be taken by Air Academy. And here comes Newhouse yet again. Newhouse decides to just shoot this one in on goal. Sumner with an easy save. Comes out front, though. Bouncing around the slot. Taken over by Sean Yonka. And he'll just outlet this one to LaPointe. Two on one. Now two on two. At the other side, LaPointe fakes it to the slot. He shoots. Big save there from Grebby. And Air Academy's had enough of that. They'll send it the length of the sheet. And it will be icing. It'll come back 178 feet. There, there was some quick side-to-side uh, -side movement back on, in uh, Grebby there. Maybe, maybe caught his uh, third or fourth wind. Yeah, he's looking like he's he's still playing pretty solid. It's always tough in these games because, I mean, he is, as you said, I mean, he's faced probably upwards of 50 shots now. And it is 6-1, but he's played pretty well. And then there's times where he's kind of been shaky, but you'd expect that when you're facing 50 shots. I mean, I've never played goalie, but I think 50 shots would tire a guy out. It does. I can tell you from experience. Oh, we got a sailor wide open in front of the net. Thiel. David Thiel can't get that shot to go, however. Camping over there in the slot. He's mm -hmm. all alone. Another ice. <laughs> he had time to set up a 10, I think. Uh, he did. 
He was roasting marshmallows when the puck came over. That's why I couldn't get the shot to go. <laughs> Busy making s'mores. S'more? How can I have s'more or something if, if you haven't given me anything? I like s'more scoring, please. Six to one, the score here. Long Lake Docks Auto Clinic, Yamp Valley Bank, Alpine Lumber, Steamboat Dentistry. Uh, proud supporters of Sailors Athletics. Russell's Auto Song. Yes, sir. You betcha. I remember hearing Eight, seven, nine, fifteen, fifteen. Russell's Auto Salon. Your premier full-service auto body shop where you always meet by accident. Just like anyone I hit in hockey. Always by accident. Here's Moppy. What a move. Griffin Moppy dances around a defender and goes upstairs. High blocker side. And Moppy's into the goal column here on the score sheet. And it is now 7-1. With 6-10, 6-11 to go here in a game. Maltby with some fantastic stick handling there on that goal. He went inside, then outside, then back to inside. Gets around defender and comes and goes top shelf where mama keeps cookies. <laughs> Are you sure it wasn't uh, cheddar this time? That was cookies? That was sweet. It was sweet, so it was cookies. Okay. I get it now. <laughs> You pick it up? I pick it, I'm picking up what you're, what you're baking. Smell what I'm cooking? It ain't fondue. <laughs> Here comes Sean Yonka now. Sends one wide of the goal frame, just dumping it in. And Air Academy tries to break out Newhouse, fighting for it at the point. Yonka fights off a check there as Ortiz had come in on him, just trying to help out. And the Cadets yet again struggled initially to get it out. They finally do. Borgening will chase it down. 5.45 to go here, and Sumner has some words with Newhouse as he comes close to the crease. Now it's Ripley. Steps up, finds a pass to Kenyon. Backhander to Ripley, and he gets poke-checked. And now Yonka just back, back-checking to his own line. Gets the pass from Borgening. Nice little feed there to Dakota Kenyon. Kenyon's going to try and turn the Jets on. Rips a shot, stop down, rebound, put out front. And eventually covered up there by Grebby. More shots. Shots. Shots, shots, shots. Shots, 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 goals, 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 goals. Seven to one. Shot, 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 shot. Yeah, I don't know if you guys knew this, but Andrew and I actually wrote that song. Uh, it's, it's about hockey. You know. yeah. Somebody said it was about something else, but I don't know. Slap, shots, 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 shots. <laughs> 4.50 to go. A chance from Borgarding. I can only imagine if Brian was listening right now. I'd probably get a text saying stop singing or something like that. I don't know. But uh, Ripley right now is flanked by Kenyon and McNamara. Borgarding and Yonka on the back end. Off the faceoff. Grant McNamara tried to find Borgarding. Couldn't. Hit a skate. Comes to Yonka. Shoots one. High and wide. How many shot opportunities do you think they've had? Uh, you remember when they do that? Just like total shots. The ones that are on goal, that are blocked, and that are wide. Yeah, I don't know if they get it that in-depth with the stat taking. They don't. But do you think that they're at 100? They have missed the net quite a bit. <laughs> um, they've also hit the ceiling a couple times. Yeah. <laughs> do you even count that? I don't know. Yeah, well, we should. Yeah, if, if we do, they are definitely at 100. They're definitely at 100. <laughs> Here now is Theo. Walks out. That's Ripley, sorry. Gets one in front of the goal. Can't get it to go, though. And Grebby will hang on. Tanner Ripley, though, just trying to make some noise in front of the net as we now have run time here for the duration of this one. Three and a half and counting. Looks as though most of the uh, Sailor faithful, at least, the young kiddos have decided that, yes, Steamboat's about to win, so we're going to go home. Well, if it's past my bedtime, it's got to be past theirs. That's what I was thinking. Here comes a chance, though. Air Academy down the other way. Shot. Big save from Sumner. And he hangs on that was to the rebound. Gavin Garrett Johnson. GG. GG Johnson. GG. GG Johnson with the chance. He is ex- denied. Excellent hustle. Yep. Not giving up even though it's late in the game. Oh, man. I'm agreeing with you. Oh, oh, uh, oh. Yes. Yes. 2.45 to go. Puck worked out to Nate Kelly. 
Soft spot on the eye. Johnny Key to him. Knocked away by Air Academy, and they try and come out the other way. Here's Geisbrecht. I don't know how he doesn't have a concussion yet. Worked into the Steamboat Sailor's end. He did get rocked that one time where it was seemingly right to his face. Shot from Nate Kelly goes just wide. Now Beckett holds it in the zone. Sent low. And Nate Kelly takes over once again. He's going to wheel out. Try to get uh, LaPointe. Ends up at his stick. Here's LaPointe now. Sending it to the goal mouth. Looking for Kaminsky. Couldn't get him. You know, trying to go the other way is Primavera. He looks up ice. Finds the red line. Bumped off by Kempers. Puck comes free to LaPointe. He's going to get tied up Ooh, there with the official. Takes out the ref. And Mr. Romick will be buying beers for the crew tonight. Becky gets back in a hurry. Swings. Gets the puck free to the far corner. Taking it near side now. Fires it off to Kaminsky. Kaminsky back to Beckett on a give-and-go play. And he just sends one. That'll go free. and It'll be down the length of the sheet and go for an icing against Steamboat. 90 seconds and ticking down here in third period play. And Air Academy in no rush to try and get down there. Letting uh, the official catch his wind after falling. The ice is really slippery out there, you know. I had no idea. It is. I can tell you from experience. I spend a lot of time flat on my face. <laughs> 65 seconds left now in the third period of play. Oh, here comes Sullivan. Sorry, my back here just kind of almost gave out on me for a second. So I had to, you know, do a grunting sound like, oh. Well, I mean, that's okay, I guess. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. I'll let it go this Back's time. not really important anyways. Here comes Air Academy now. Bodies flying the last minute of play. Backhander not going to go there from Hakan Bierke. And it's going to be taken up by Borgening now to his forehand. Tight angle shot. Big save rebound out front. And a goal from Griffin Malpe. I thought that initially uh, Grebby had had that one, but it slipped through the five hole. And yeah. it's 8-1, to one, and I think that'll probably be about the game. I agree. I feel like he had that with his leg pad. It just, just got away from him. Ten seconds on the clock, and I don't think that we're even going to see another face-off here. Yeah, I'm not, not in a rush to get this one. <laughs> So that's it, ladies and gentlemen, with the horn. Eight to one, your Steamboat Sailors come out on top against this Air Academy Cadet squad. There's going to be more hockey tomorrow, basketball as well. All three of those sports, girls and boys basketball, then hockey. We'll be, we'll be on our brother station, KCOQ, 100.5 The River. Andrew, would love to have you back. 5.30 puck drop tomorrow. 5.30 a.m.? 5.40. No. No, we're not. We're not the emergency line here, okay? Oh, so no, 5:40 p.m. PMs. Oh, oh. So if you'd like to join us, we'd love to have you again. Eight-one final here tonight, though. For Monica, back to the board. For Andrew and all the sponsors of Sailors Athletics, thank you so much. And we'll see you tomorrow. This is KTYV 98.9 Sports on FM. Also heard and watched on the World Wide Web at SteamboatRadio.com. Hi, this is Doc from Doc Auto. When your car isn't feeling well, head over to Doc for above and beyond customer satisfaction and the most expert service around. The techs at Doc are ASC certified and go the extra mile to give you the peace of mind you need to know your vehicle.